Bye. I think we had to re reboot the entire building. Adriscoll. <laughs>
and there's obviously the signs of a battle. Once the once the ochre, what was it, ochre jelly, a russet mold, russet, 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 russet mold. mold. Yeah. So once the russet mold is dead, it's it's there's still a lot of this furry red matting all over the place, and half half dissolved bodies left around, and the the dwarf when he comes around the corner, he stops and says. What the God's name happened here? Is he wearing any kind of um, insignia? Like, does he look like to be a part of the prince's guard? Yeah, he's wearing. He's one of. The, he's got. He's a knight <clears throat> of the word. Oops. Yeah. A, uh, and he's got coming kind of running around the corner behind him, and then kind of pulling him <clears throat> short is a halfling that is also wearing the garb of the word, the knights of the word. A sun elf was loose in your district. Uh, Who are you? <clears throat> Commander of the chain. <laughs> <laughs> Just flip into the car to like, oh me? Uh, did you do this? No. Uh, the being we killed did this. Ah, a great fight was had. Yes. Mm-hmm. And describe this being to me. <clears throat> Ten foot uh, tall, solid gold skin, wings, blood. giant flaming sword. What? Lots of magic. Does he speak truth? Yes. Black I want to see his blood. Show him your sword. It's still got blood all over her. Yeah, he bled. He bled light. Or yeah, well, yeah, it's all over. Yeah, there's silver, silver, blood. silver blood. There's silver blood everywhere. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, he wants to know like, like he doesn't he doesn't know what that is that thing you just described. Chain? What are you talking about? What chain? Hmm. <clears throat> chain, uh, of, chain of Acheron. <laughs> chain signed to each other. <laughs> the chain of Acheron. Yeah. Didn't you see what chain? Yeah, come Please. on. Please. Come on, bro. If you haven't heard of us. <laughs> you yeah, he has no idea who you people are. <laughs> he has no idea who, you, who he has no idea who you people are. Um, <laughs> uh, we <laughs> are a company of soldiers now under the prince's employ. The, under the nah, no. <clears throat> we show, oh, you we lied show, to me. I, show, I would know if you were knights of the prince. Show show you are knights of the prince. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. Uh huh. This is a bit of a recent development for us, so you know. Don't feel bad that you weren't. He is his lieutenant, uh, the halfling, wants to inspect the seal, and it, it, they're real. And who are you? I'm Zorge, captain of the word. Word. And this is spendthrift, and he smacks the halfling. Spendthrift. And the, my, and the halfling kind of uh, staggers back, and, and then the and Zorge kind of goes. Ha, 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 ha. <laughs> uh, I like having a lieutenant that has to look up to me. <laughs> Must be rare. Uh, <laughs> he wants what? to know what you folks are doing. What, what are <clears throat> what are knights of the prince who are not the word doing here? We were just traveling through, and we kind of stumbled upon this nonsense. A bunch of people in the town were screaming. We went over to inspect it. There was a black dragon. A black dragon. We stopped it. The uh, some of the other guards will confirm this because yeah. they have seen <clears throat> they were there or they saw or they've talked to people who saw. It's like ah, were the, were the knights of the word that had killed the dragon? Well, no, they were nowhere to be found. Just yes. us. Well, the <laughs> Chant is a little. Salty. The actual problem <laughs> was the sun elf that we destroyed in the alleyway. So the sun elf had uh, transmogrified a. Uh, common citizen into a black dragon. Our weapon master was clever enough to just, you know, to see through what was going on and and uh, undid the magic. Turned it back into a regular dragon man. <laughs> Good work. <laughs> yeah, we, we, we made chase uh, and fucked him up. Well, he's pretty happy that you folks are willing to stay and help with the uh, with the cleanup. Uh, it's going to take a little while to kind of break this thing down, but then eventually the night soil men will come and start. You know, they'll bring carts and they'll cart it away. Uh, he just wants to know where you guys are, where, like, where are you based out of? If you're knights of the prince, like, what district are you from? Uh, we're currently in the stays, looking to establish ourselves somewhere in capital. Yeah, that confuses him. In that, okay. like the knight, the, there are no, there are no knights of the prince in the stays. 
the stays, and he said, yeah, he'll say the, uh, the stays is the fulcrum and the, and the gold buttons. Yes, the gold buttons. No chain? No chain and stays? Well, we're looking to unify the prince's forces. I don't know if you've heard what? what happened on the pellet. Only one man can do that. The prince. And thou art no prince. <laughs> yeah, we're looking for the new prince. <laughs> he says, may thee, may, thee, may thee keep looking. Well, we will. <laughs> <laughs> Just do the thing that you said you were going to yeah. do. Like he, he thinks, we like he, he thinks you're joking, basically. Mm. Uh, like, like, I mean, that's fine. Are the prince's <clears throat> guards not also looking to seek out a new prince? None of the ones you've met have. No, Lady Antonia. Just seem waiting to be, around for one to fall like out of the waiting sky? for one to just yeah yeah that's, what, that's what she said that's what it sounds She's like they're waiting. Wait, they're waiting for the privy council to and they're, they're waiting for you know they're waiting for the war and whoever wins the war will work just make themselves work, work, yeah, yeah. work for they're told to work for whoever win huh uh, should we uh, well then we're we're a traveling band of knights and when there's things like this going on in you, the prince's territories we help take care of it. Uh, I mean, he, it's, he's uh, yeah, incredibly impressed at your civic mindedness and, uh, he just, he just uh, wants to know how to get in touch with you. Like if he has any more questions. Uh, so you, when you say that you operate out of the stays, that's what confuses him because he, he knows who runs the stays and they're not. They're like, Technically we operate off of our ship. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. The ship, right? On the stays. Yeah. With the dogs. Well, you can send us a message at the Pharaoh's dream or to our ship. Actually, do, if they have a diplomat's pouch, how do we give them our address? What's our friend code? <laughs> they need to know our name. Uh, he, somebody like this guy would not have a diplomat's pouch. Oh, mm -hmm. I see. Okay. Like, you, like nobles have diplomat's Oh, pouches. I see. I see. Okay. Uh, so, yeah, the Pharaoh's Dream impresses him because that's a, that's a very famous place, and, not, and he's surprised you can afford it. Uh, but he lets you know that his men, his men, my fancy clothes. Yeah, well, well, you are, you actually, yeah. you guys are dressed well, incredibly yeah. well. Oh no, yeah. no, safe. except right. <laughs> I think he got dressed. Yeah. Yeah. Are his you clothes dressed? ripped? He, no, no. He no. Dressed no. Dressed. no. Is that they were no. Really fine. No, I don't think it's. I don't. And I like. I also. I. I sort of. Unless. I, unless. Like I didn't have you save for your clothes to see if your clothes <laughs> would get burned. That'd be so, so mean. Yeah, that would be especially and tedious. Yeah, <laughs> and expensive. So we used to play. When a dragon breathed on you, I would have to take your character sheet and have all of your items save. <laughs> and that was a great way to get um, high-level characters that had a ridiculous number of scrolls and potions mm. that could solve any problem and just well, have a dragon breathe on you and they all explode or they all... <laughs> uh, they all yeah, so anyway, there's various ways to thin the... Ah, uh, uh, yes. Yeah, anyway, so I didn't do that. So I'm going to assume that you guys still have your clothes. Um, otherwise, he's just going to make sure his guys keep this place... They get this place clean. And they'll hold the and, and and that's it. He just wants to know where you guys are going to be, in case he wants to talk to you. But you have knights. You have the prince's seal. Mm -hmm. So he and his lieutenant verified. So they, you appear to be authentic. Mm -hmm. He's just never heard of you. That's all. So it's the real deal. About how long did that whole exchange take? Between know, us, like between us cleaning up and helping and all this. Well, I, you know, I, 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 talking to him probably only five minutes. Mm. He doesn't really have much to say to you guys other than who are you and what are you doing here. Right. Um, I mean, maybe. Maybe it's a good idea. But I would say find somewhere to rest here since everybody's uh, mm. hurting. So we'll ask him what's uh what's the best place to stay in town. Um, there's the dancing minstrel. I like it. Sounds good to me, a bard. Mm -hmm. What's this area called again? Uh, this place Collins. is called. You guys are in King's Cross, which is a neighborhood in Collingsville, which is a district. So, in fact, you have your map on you, Mount Driscoll, like mm -hmm, right? mm -hmm. the uh, black and white version today. <laughs> who is it? Who's the Who's the bloke who does these? Uh, the new Teddy. Teddy. The new Teddy. I think he calls himself also on Pelican. Twits. Mm -hmm. So, how do I read this? Uh, stand by. Uh huh. Okay. I think. Uh, uh, I'm just trying to see, like, how do I. Anyway. So, somewhere on this map. I know where we are. Really? Where are you guys? Uh, we are. About the color coding. I don't know what I'm looking at. We are. We're there. We're, You're. Because we're going here. Okay, so yeah. Then I, think I, then I think I know. And we're here. Okay, then give me that. Oh, so we're not even in the same district. <coughs> no, 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 no. No, we're, we're in a, a neutral district. So I believe. Yeah. Oh, that this. makes sense. I was like, why are the princess cards here in this district? Right. Yeah, we I haven't got there yet. I'm lost. That's why I got a map. Thanks. 
Got somebody's prepared. You got yourself a little diary. And I, I think, think this diary. is. Oh, yeah. Let me get out of D&D. diary. The entries for OD&D is going to be real short. <laughs> <laughs> I love your diary, the end. <laughs> more than any other Kid, character. This is. We walked through the woods. Person <laughs> the end. <laughs> So many scary things. Yes. It was fine. Side seats only. Mm. <laughs> I can't believe they played a it commercial. <laughs> Fuck. Oh, shit. I can't. Sorry. I don't have something to write. Uh, you can write on you're it. You're barely going to be able to read that, I think. I don't have my. Colin Zill. Yeah. Purses. Yeah. King's, King's Cross. Cross. Yeah. yeah. Legible. Yeah, we get it. I just this this table the mm. the speed cloth does not oh, I write too yeah. hard on it the pencil just mm. and I didn't have a book like or anything one of the leaves well I need to get rid of my yeah anyway anyway so yeah you guys can you guys can retire to the dancing minstrel it's a large and uh, spendthrift will give you directions on how to get there thank you spendthrift thank you it's a short cool rest name. no well we can we can have a long rest take a nap. we have a night there right. If you want, a yeah. lot of a lot you of people guys, are. What time of day? Well, is it? I'm not sure. I'm full. Uh, it's a little afternoon. Oh, okay. Yeah. So it's, a, it's hot. It, it's uh, oh it's, great. We're getting perfect. It's getting kind of <laughs> toward uh, the beginning of summer. Great. A couple I'm of us have. <laughs> a couple of us had negative constitution that we probably have to. Sleep have negative constitution. You're right. Yeah, from the russet mold. Yeah. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, you and Judge and. I boots. can take a night off for sure. Yeah. Boots are maybe we have a nice rest then. Shit, yeah. mm-hmm. as they say. I need to conjure up OD again. Mm. He's still Do dead. You? <clears throat> he's not dead. He's well, not here, he's out of the way. Correct. It makes he's him been... happy to believe he's dead. I, I he's... Make, yeah, <laughs> I enjoy that thought that he might be dead. He's like, this a... time, this time I won't get OD. <laughs> yeah, you saw that happens. <laughs> Every time I'm praying. That's a, I have to make a note of that. Does it be need of anyway? Uh, what time? That's for campaign diary. I can't tell. I can't let these people know what I'm saying. Um, yeah, it would be funny if if something else came out, but it had Od's personality. <laughs> you probably oh, hear fairy dragon. Yeah, <laughs> I just had a mini made. Uh, <laughs> it cost me a bloody four. Well, that's... <laughs> <laughs> this is the new game. Make I gotta. Yeah, I gotta. I can't. You know, I, <laughs> I gotta conjure some. You next time you conjure, not maybe at some random point. I'll come up with some crazy familiar for which there is no mini. And you'll be like, ah, I gotta go find some crazy custom made thing. I'll be like, wah. Anyway, that would be incredibly petty minded of me. Which you uh, definitely do. Then. I would definitely do that. Yeah. Um, <laughs> what would be the hardest possible mini to find? Uh, yeah. So the Dancing Minstrel is a three story. Um, you guys are in, in Calling Sills, really an old part of the city. And so uh, it's also one of the more built up places. And the sign of the Dancing Minstrel is kind of a classic. Uh, the it's a fiddling, dancing, kind of a more medieval-looking jester figure that you would find in like the 11th century, as opposed to most of the stuff in Capital, which is a lot more modern. The signs are really old, and there's a there's a lot of people staying here. There are a lot of rooms, and there's a um, bard in the common room who is what? who is no, but he's he's got he's on a really tiny stage. It's only about this wide. <clears throat> not that high off the ground, <clears throat> but he he plays. And there's the people who stay here are uh, Riohans from other parts of the city. They're typically here on business, and they'll spend the night here. So it's relatively well to do. And there are unlike unlike the inns and the stays, even the prince's footstool. It's there's not like goblins or anything like that. It's it's all humans, and almost all of them are Riohans. And the innkeeper is happy to, like, everybody, when you walk in, everyone stops. Mm. And uh, but the, the, the bard keeps playing. <laughs> <laughs> and everyone stops and, and looks, and then they kind of, you're dressed as Rioans. So the bard starts playing <laughs> a little louder, <laughs> and everyone goes back, everyone goes back to their business. <laughs> and the innkeep is, uh, is happy to take your money and give you guys rooms. And asks if you want anything to eat. Yeah, absolutely. Lava spots of vanished. Uh, they'll have he'll have his uh, sister bring you food if you want to take a table. Uh, mm-hmm. There are a couple of it's a huge mat. It's a very large common room. It's large enough to fit like eighty people in here, uh, as opposed to the prince's footstool, which is relatively small. Mm-hmm. And uh, you're the only gift and the only 
And so all these Riohans, kind of middle upper middle class Riohans are all desperately trying to ignore <laughs> what you guys who you guys are. There's you've got a giant cat with got six legs and two tentacles. <laughs> uh People uh, get up from the table that you guys pick and move. Uh, Good. <laughs> and you guys are free to to you know enjoy the music. Uh, it's going to cost you uh, two gold a piece to stay here. Oh, all right. It's it's cheap and cheerful. <clears throat> no, it's pretty. That's pretty expensive. That's charging us all to gold. save the damn city. Meal? Yeah, that's going to that include that's that includes food for tonight and tomorrow. Any booze? Yeah, absolutely. Lovely. Yeah. Two gold. Two they have Rio and wine, which is the the best wine in Orden. Mm. Draw, draw wine is very much not subtle, and the, the 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 wines here are a lot. Uh, there's a lot more, many more vintages and varieties, and the taste is a lot more subtle than the stuff that you're used to. Okay. Mm. Uh, I don't know. Can the water be trusted here? Sure. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> So while while we're doing our long rest, so I'm gonna assume that well, I'm assuming that maybe the Sumat pole has a uh, um, a uh, diplomat's, diplomat's pouch. pouch. And I, I think, Commander, I'm listening to you. You should ask, you know, write him a note through your pouch and ask him what these words mean. Or ask him if he knows what these words mean. <clears throat> oh, good luck. Yeah. I was just watching you struggle. <laughs> I don't Sorry, have I a notepad it. that I want to rip piece of paper out of. Well, we've got a whole office full of supplies, including. I got notepads. an idea. You want, to go to, you want me to go get a notepad? No. Just pretend. Dear Sumo. <laughs> <laughs> it's been so long since I last saw you. Love all, all three I think, of you. I think about you often. <laughs> there we go. It's Actually, yeah. fondly yours. King. <laughs> Hero, Sumat Pole, what's this mean? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jerry. Uh, uh, oh, don't throw it. Oh. I'll it. <laughs> yeah, so you you write a note. What's this? I assume you explain what the context of the of the message. <laughs> well, is. I didn't have a lot of play. No, I guess I know that. Yeah, you didn't. Uh, so you you write your note. You put it in the diplomat's pouch. Nothing happens. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't disappear. It just nope. stays. Okay. Right. Does that do, does it usually disappear if there is another? Correct. Okay. Yep. So you yeah. put it in. Yep. Goes, so okay. he doesn't have. So one. they don't have. Because well, we, we bought it from them, or we took it. Right. From I mean, that's a good. Yeah. I mean, yeah. 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 It's worth <laughs> a try. Yeah. 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 Also, I think you might have to attune to it. So it's possible that he has. They have some for sale, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. they don't belong to anybody. Right. They right. haven't. They haven't. They haven't. And it's they're not going to them because yeah, they're yeah. not. Their items are not to be used right by them. It's worth a worth. A it piece. is. It's a good idea. Yeah. No, don't get me wrong. Yeah. Uh, so. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, all right. Oh, let's see. Okay. Now oh, you're right. As you Wait, who are you sending to? Well, no, I'm, I'm, I'm as keen to find out as anybody else. Yeah, Ajax. Oh, they're so good. <laughs> Ajax. Ajax. Wiener. Ajax, do you know what this means? Yeah. <laughs> How'd you know what I was doing? And he writes back and just writes, yes. I was yeah. actually sending it to Mortem. <clears throat> okay. Who is it? Who is it to? What? Who is it to? What happened? It's Angel, I bet. That's the only person we know that has one for sure. What? We know plenty of people who have them. To Sharomi? Ajax? You and Sharomi are passing notes now? Yeah. Hmm. Center, do you let, I see like who you like I see, I see you where your alliances lie now. Might be my favorite part of D&D is just writing yes. notes back and forth. <laughs> That's a simple person. Uh, I told Angel to look into it. Oh, okay. You guys had it? <laughs> is it safe for me to press the long rest button? Yeah, go right ahead. <laughs> Yeah, nothing, nothing crazy is yes, going to happen you. to you guys. Uh, no, you can go. I just here. press a button, it does all your bits and bobs for you. I got a button here. I just... <laughs> it's great. Yeah. Oh, it's, uh, it's, 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 it's a state of <laughs> Yeah, more is plastic. Yeah. Before I rest, I'll ritually bring back OD. <laughs> <laughs> Before I rest. Why, <laughs> madness, baby. <laughs> he, cavorts and, he cavorts and capers around your shoulders and yeah, pulls I mean, on your hair and pulls on your ears. I don't really sleep anyway, right? I'm just in a truck. Why are we eating? <laughs> he starts grabbing your food. Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's been a while, OD. How, how was it, wherever you were? I missed you. <laughs> <laughs> and I unfortunately missed you. <laughs> 
Uh, so yeah, nothing uh, uh, today. It will pass on. Oops. Cool. And you guys will be able to. Uh, so basically, we just hang out in the common room, drink and yeah, you eat can. Yep. all yeah, night, yeah, drink and go and to sleep and wake up okay. in the morning. Have a good time. Yeah, why not? We'll be rejuvenated. Not get smashed, but actually, yeah. We got to share a room with OD. I'm getting smashed. I'll, I'll, I've heard that uh, before. I'll uh, do an accompaniment with that bard and, oh, yeah. and mm. improv some sort of shanty about oh about how Corona? you know how we maybe. killed the sun. If a guy's yeah. ten feet Arana. tall, you just gotta chop him up a lot more or something. I don't know. <laughs> His name's Eduardo. He he's a uh, he's the uh, house um, minstrel. Mm-hmm. I love he, this song. He would just he he's super <laughs> oh, interested wow. in. I wasted in... my one twenty for the night <laughs> to see if he I like really this song. Eduardo, well, it's a uh, song about your yeah, your glory in battle. So you is not is not he's not a great minstrel. Well, it's Mark. Uh, is the lead. But he's fascinated by you folks and what ha- what you've done in the city. And he's read the he's read the unlike Zorge, the captain of the word, the dwarf. This dude knows who you guys are. Oh, okay. And so he's super keen to get your exploits and he knows about the stuff on the pellet and all that as well. Do I know? He, know, he knows what's in, he's, he knows what's been in the broadsheets. Mm-hmm. So when the broadsheets, broadsheets are reported that the twelve dragons yeah, bolted yeah. in there and just yeah. took it over. Yeah. Well, yeah. In fact, that's the, the the broadsheets have reported that twelve dragons have taken the columns. They haven't uh, mm. because, like, but yeah, the, they haven't in term in game terms. Okay. Uh, in game terms, they don't. They haven't taken it until the end of this game turn. Okay. So they're just you're, there. You're, they're, yeah. right, right now, they're just there. If no one challenges them, mm-hmm. if no one challenges them, then at the end of this game turn, then they will actually own it. They own it. Okay. Right. Um, this makes a lot more sense if you've played Diplomacy, which, of course, all of you folks have because you watched the video I did on Diplomacy. <sighs> I didn't watch it. Actually, who I here? Can't watch it. Lars has played yeah. Dip, right? Yeah. 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 Me. Did, did you play? Yeah, I played one. Okay. Yeah. Just before you left. Um, the next day, I thought I had someone knocking someone. at my door. <laughs> <laughs> Who is it? <laughs> As you guys are <clears throat> having... Well, I get all them back. Long rest. Which do I read first? The phone or the paper? Uh, the phone. The phone? I understand what I'm doing. Okay. Uh-huh. It's, uh... Yep. Yep. A cat gift or something? Uh-huh. Right. <laughs> okay. Seriously typing? <laughs> yes. I figured we could pass more notes. I have so many cool spells to choose. The spell now. doesn't, such as, or the loss, or truthful, short phrase, got it. Got it. How is this really different than, anyway. The title of tonight's episode is Notes. <laughs> <laughs> Actually. What is? You guys don't know what the title mm-hmm. is, do you? No. Uh, uh, you uh, might, OG. Because uh, you, you get alerts on the phone? If you subscribe. It alerted, but it it um it didn't show the title. It's just something about we're rolling dice and something, and you told me off last week for looking at the title. So I did, that's right. I didn't look at it it's spoilers. deliberately. The spoilers, the title is spoilers. Because I was told off so meanly. Um Surfed. it's the only way I know how to tell somebody off. Uh, <laughs> let's see. Um Give my brain buster. Nice. I'm just trying to no no I'm just it, okay. it, I'm I'm trying to figure out how to reply in the spirit of the spell. Mm-hmm. I don't know what the answer is. I'm just trying to uh spell. What's going on? Casting spells to the diplomat's pouch? No. <clears throat> I just used the same paper that I wrote. Oh. Oh. No, I have divination now, so I figured uh, I might as well use it. <gasps> you do. What's your name? How does divination work? So uh, it's basically uh, like the wheel woke. It's the wheel woke no, one, but you can Audrey's ask more specific questions and get like an actual specific answer. But well, is but it about your what you're about to do in the next thirty minutes though? Because that's Aubrey. No, it's, it's seven days. Oh, wow. what? Yeah. what the heck? And you can get better. Why you can is get this better, movie such a? You can get better answers. You can get. You can get better answers, but they're they can they can be cryptic. Mm-hmm. Uh, Wait, what is it? You makes people tell the truth. <laughs> The GM offers a truthful reply, not necessarily the truth, but truthful. Mm. That's me. I'm the GM. Mm-hmm. They're talking about me. Mm-hmm. <laughs> the reply might be a short phrase, a cryptic rhyme. A, a cryptic mm, rhyme. Do or a rhyme. An omen. <laughs> it might be in pig Latin. <laughs> <laughs> an omen is like a crow flies across the moon. <laughs> like, oh, oh, yeah. um, you could cheese that. Yeah, yeah. 
Cheese it, cheese it. Oh, I thought of a better question. <laughs> Darn, used it too quick. Do you want to undo, you want undo, to on your question? Undo, undo I don't email. Mind. You've never cast division, divination undo before. Undo send. Uh, well, I don't know if it's going to occur within seven days, so that wouldn't actually work. So I'll stick with what I got. Are we? Am I going to kill Ajax? Well, no. <laughs> no, not no. the next seven days. <laughs> no, that's no. I don't have to. No, it's not going to be a cryptic reply. Your god just going to be like, no. Uh, <laughs> nah, bro. I was going to ask, who does Nails not want us to trust? Since oh, I forgot been, about that. Back burner, but I don't know if that'll happen in that seven was days. The, so that was that a changeling. That's got to be right. No. It's got to be the changeling, right? right? Okay, it's right? not the changeling then. Got, that was, that <laughs> can't, was be, can't be the changeling. How could that be the changeling? That was when he exploded. Uh, Sweet stabbed him with the arrow and yeah. said, "King, don't trust thee." And then he turned into yeah. It just it, 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 I know what the, the, yeah. Infinity nails. Trust the whatever the hell he's called. What was he called? What would he call him? Hmm? Nail storm? No. No. Nail storm. Omega nails. Omega, Omega nails. nails. That's right. Infinity nails. <laughs> <laughs> that's that's the next time nails shows up. Uh, <laughs> he's off collecting all the stones. Oh my god! That's what I was thinking of. Like, why is infinity? Infinity War. Agree. Okay, let me see how mine works. Does, it, does that say Raven? Yeah. Yeah. This. Uh, I knew it. I could. We did a. I did a long rest. Right. Now so I can. This will be a little bit easier. Can I have right. my pencil? Healing. No, I'm not gonna. Yeah, but... Is that your pencil? Yeah, it's mine. This uh, is. Mine. You get back to me. Was... Anyway. Anyway. <clears throat> so, yeah. Well, God, we're dying with anticipation. So. So we all. What well. did you? He wants to. They want to know what you did. Oh, they're waiting uh, for you to explain uh, what you did. Which is my god, mm -hmm. if this letter is going to fuck us. <clears throat> oh, okay. And oh, Shiraimi's letter. Huh? Shiraimi's letter. Yeah, yeah. To figure, to maybe get an idea oh, of what mm -hmm. it is. If we are delivering mm. the thing that says the fulcrum bones of the chain. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> and he gave me a response. Uh -huh. And. And. What did your god say? And? What did your god say? <laughs> he said, I'm having fun. Okay. No. I'm, ha I'm, yes. having, I'm having a good time. Uh, yeah. I hope everybody can see that. Yeah. <laughs> the elf. raven cannot break the chain. Okay. Who's the... Oh, the raven is Verona. No, we're the raven. We're the no, messengers. No, no, no. The, the raven, raven is, is their symbol. The raven is a symbol of House Verona. Yeah. yeah. Oh, dear. And I was thinking about pigeons. Sorry. I was thinking about pigeons. <laughs> what, pigeons? Pigeons are messengers. Wow. Uh, I got my birds mixed up. So the next morning, while you guys are um, preparing to leave, maybe you're going to get some food. Uh, somebody walks in. It's a lot. There are a lot fewer people here in the early morning. This is mostly the place people have uh, lunch and or dinner. A gentleman walks in. A young man walks in, uh, and he's dressed like a Roman centurion. Wow. Uh, this is those of you who are from this world would recognize this as being the outfit of somebody who was from the Commonwealth and was probably like in the military in some capacity. And he is, he orders a drink and when he gets his drink, he comes to your table and gestures to a chair as, as though asking to sit down. Have a seat. Mm -hmm. uh, Who might you be? Uh, before my name, we, I, I am not mistaken, this is the chain of Akron. How could it not be, he says. How could it not be? Indeed it, it is. is. Uh, <clears throat> recently, almost the victims of a black dragon attack. Almost victims? Uh, yeah. Well, victims. I mean, Victor, you Victor, Victor, solved that problem. Victors. Says, Victors. Victors. That problem. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good one. You solved that problem, and then a couple of more, a couple more the next uh, uh, later that day. Indeed. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, I'm pleased to meet, make your acquaintance. Uh, my name, and he gives you his name. Uh, his name is Marcellus Scipio. Cool. Marcellus Scipio. Marcellus. What a glorious battle it was. Boots, sing him the song. <laughs> Marcellus. <laughs> this guy looks. He, he's. He's. He. he he, he looks older than he is. Hmm. Uh, he has this. He has this bearing of somebody who is. Uh, uh, he kind of looks the way you would expect a noble to look, ideally. Mm -hmm. And but he he once he starts talking, he seems he's probably like only twenty. Oh, but sure. he's got one of those faces that's got pretty hmm. like lines in it. Like weathered. It, it, yeah, exactly. He's got one of these kind of. Uh, he's born preternaturally old. 
like some people are youthful throughout their whole life. This guy was old early. Right. Uh, okay. And uh, and he takes a drink from his and he, he wants introductions. He's I says I've I've heard of you. I've read the broadsheets, but I don't know which one is which. Obviously, you're a the handsome one. What? He's like, oh, obviously you're. <laughs> oh, yes. He's like, yes. You say I'm the handsome one. <laughs> he said, yeah. He says, have you read the broadsheets recently? Oh yeah. Okay, so everyone's wondering. <laughs> everyone's everyone everyone's like wondering how you got how you got a displacer beast. Um, like, did you raise it from a pup? I did. Yeah, tiny little. Tiny I thought you little. said it was a cat. It is a cat, but I but I raised it better than most people do. So it was I don't know. It's probably these tentacles or something. Uh, I think I, I think I least. I mean, I don't know. See, so yeah, he just wants to know which one's which. Like he, he's not sure which one's judge. Are you judge, or and and you're king? I'm king. No, I'm <laughs> king, judge, boots, slim. Ah, the one. man with the boots. <laughs> I'm the weapon master of the chain. Since my commander wouldn't be so kind as to introduce me, I'll introduce myself. I'm Leech, the surgeon, and this is O.D. Ah, oh, the I'm surgeon. Him. Yeah, excellent, excellent. He says, oh, fascinating. So I wonder. And he looks to King and says, do you think he's really invincible? <laughs> Not at all. I agree. Uh, how would you describe the events that happened to you yesterday? He said. <clears throat> Pretty normal. Average day. Average day for the chain. Mm. Uh, this kind of thing happens to you often. Uh, not as much in cities, but on jobs. But you dealt with it. You dealt with it pretty handily. Uh, what? What? If you don't mind my asking, obviously you're not under any obligation to tell me that we're effectively strangers for the moment. But what contract are you currently under? Who are you? This is my. My name is Marcelo Scipio. Um, and who are you with? I'm currently a uh, student at the War College. Mm-hmm. He doesn't have a notepad with him, does he? Uh, see? No, okay. no, he's not a reporter. No, no, he's dressed. He's dressed in like <laughs> um, a, a sentry, not, yeah. not just a soldier, yeah. but like a kind of a commander's outfit. But he's just a kid. Okay, uh, we're not currently under contract in the city. Not in the city. Correct. But you've been in the broadsheets a couple of times, and I think you told a reporter. Uh, that you were here looking for allies to fight Ajax. Uh, correct. Uh, why Ajax would you want killed to our previous commander. Ah. <clears throat> ah, and this is what happened in Black Bottom. Correct. Okay. Excellent, excellent. And is it is it Ajax that you want, or is it his wizard? Personal business. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, how would I respond to that? He takes a drink and he goes, think carefully. <laughs> I'm just what thinking of that gif of that song. little girl doing the why not both. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, I'll have to come up with one. He said, he like, uh, yeah. Uh, well, for instance, let me pose you a, a hypothetical. This is, this is the type of thing we do in the war college all the time, although usually not on this, this subject. Suppose that um, Mortem died of old age. So, um, would you consider your contract null, and therefore you would have no interest in Ajax, and he would be free to wreak his evil across the world? Uh, that's assuming we have a contract to kill his wizard. Well. And assuming that we did, <clears throat> it would make the contract null. Correct. So that would release you, and you'd be free to do whatever you want, and you'd no longer have any interest in Ajax, so-called invincible. The likelihood of his wizard dropping dead seems very low. I agree. But I'm just trying to figure out what your motivation is. Is it strictly just to complete the contract? I mean, you can play with a lot of what-ifs and a lot of, like, distant... What have yous yeah. in the future? Yeah, I mean, I mean sidebar, he, he killed the commander. Relg has his soul. Fuck that guy. Yeah, so obviously. He's, uh, he's, he's definitely on the list. Like, we're not going to accept jobs on his side. We're definitely going to accept jobs if there's jobs that want us to do harm to him, 100%. Yeah. So, 
but the question is, what do we what do we want to say to this kid? Right. What what business is it of his? Why like? Well, he, well wait, wait, wait. He, how how are you gonna? We're sitting around a table. How are you gonna express that? You can just. I'll say just it. say it to him directly. <laughs> what business is this of yours to ask all these questions? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, well, it's a good question. I'm surprised you didn't ask it earlier. <laughs> uh, uh, you know, I've been, I'm a student of uh, war and diplomacy. My father sponsored me into the college. And mm. uh, we have a long tradition of public service in my family. And, your family? Yes. Your father? Yes. Well and known? my grandfather. Yes. Well known of? Yes. Who are they? He names his, you haven't heard of them. Okay. But they're, they're. They, if somebody, if like you know, somebody who was from this part of the world <laughs> would, would knows the Scipio family, they're famous, um, oh, right, yeah. like generals in the Commonwealth Army. Oh. Uh, so Boots might have heard, might have heard of this of House Scipio, but they're not Rioan. This guy's not Rioan. He's like Greek, basically. Mm-hmm. Uh, so are you on a school assignment, or what is this? You might say that. <laughs> you might say that it is something like a, a school assignment. <clears throat> yes, I just I'm happy. Reading the broadsheets and reading about you folks as your reputation grows, I'm happy to find people that seem to have the same interests that I and my friends do. Uh, but I'm just curious as to whether or not that's a coincidence or purely a matter of something written on a piece of paper or whether or not it's a, of genuine interest to you. Seems to have the same. Yeah, but all- yeah I mean, mm-hmm. so. Well, you don't seem to lack for jobs, but. Ajax is no friend of ours. Not a difficult question to answer. Ajax has enemies all over the world. Uh, and he, he has made an enemy of the chain. Uh, I'd like to introduce you to some friends of mine. Good question. Does he have a ring? He is, is wearing a ring, yeah. Is he wearing like the, the old school ring? Or not because he's still technically a student? He is. He is not wearing... The first of all, he doesn't. He's, he doesn't attend the academy, military oh. academy. He's going to the war college. Oh, Those are two different I things. Okay. This is he's uh, he's he's going to like he's going to Yale. Yes. He is not going to West and, and he, inside West Yale there is a thing called the war college. He's not going to West Point. That's not his thing. Uh, I want to uh, do an inside check to see if this guy. To see if yes. it seems like he's fucking around Inside. on us. Uh, okay. like, do you want to roll that? Those of you who don't t- watch chat, like people in chat are for weeks, they're like, roll insight, roll insight. Insight. Do you want to so, do you want to roll it or should I roll it? What's your inside bonus? Plus seven. Plus seven? Wow, really? Well, it's, it's wisdom. Oh, it's it's wisdom it. based. It's wisdom based. Yeah. It's and I'm based. proficient in it. Yeah. So. You're Mr. Charisma. He's Mr. You're a wiz kid. He's yeah, he's yeah. it's wiz for wizard. Yeah. Uh yeah, go ahead and roll. See which one we're using today. Use a good one. Gotta check. Can't be Anna. Pre-roll. No, we'll we'll, take five to twenty damage. Yeah. Uh, Seventeen plus seven. All right. What are you trying to figure out? Uh, I'm trying trying to get a read off this kid. I get that, but yeah. Uh, To see if what he says is seems genuine. Like he seems like he's asking about Ajax. Is he giving anything away about it's how he It's super weird for somebody to just walk up to you and start talking to you about this stuff. That Correct. is an, obviously an experience mm-hmm. you guys haven't had before. So there's something weird going on with this kid. Yeah. Um, he He's acting like somebody who's got this secret that he just can't fucking wait to share with somebody. Mm. Right. And so he's he, he like he's got a present and he wants to give it to you. Hmm. But he's and, and there's that a present is a dagger there. It's he's, almost like well, like, like someone like like I said, he's like 20. And so he's obviously been sent here to ask you folks some questions, but he kind of wants to tell you what's going on regardless of what you say. Hmm. Hmm. So he's so if we butter him up a little bit, he might be willing to spill the He's beans. a kid. He's a yeah. he's a he's a college kid. Impress us. Or I find that when you just knows. let people talk, yeah, he yeah, might just talk. Who, uh, might just, uh, well, who do you want us to meet? Let's get him a drink. Well, yeah. that'll loosen him up. He's got one right now. <clears throat> well, it'd probably have to be in person if you folks were willing to take a short journey, very short journey. You're in this district? Yes, actually, yes. Oh, you're okay. in this district. In fact, we wouldn't even have to leave the inn. <laughs> That's convenient. <coughs> uh, uh, when did this meeting take place? Uh, so he's like, a, he's a, he asks Judge, he says, forgive me, but where are you from originally? Alloy. Uh, 
Ah, yes. Yeah, the Alka yeah, not not uh not to put too fine a point on it. Hell. Well, depends who's asking. Well, my name is Marcella Scipio. I'm a mm -hmm. student at the War College. Mm -hmm. As far as you know, it's Alloy. Well, let's see what happens, he says. <laughs> and he takes his ring off, and it's a band of solid sapphire. Mm -hmm. And he puts it on the table, and he spins it with his finger. Is he casting a spell right now? Uh, what does Judge think? It seems like he's doing something. He is doing something. Because he's using, he's obviously that's the tool. That's yeah. Like this the is the short component. journey we're about to go There's on. There's some kind of like verbal or somatic part of it. So. He hasn't said any. He hasn't. He Maybe hasn't, he does have a verbal thing. He hasn't, and he hasn't, or this, but he did take the ring and go, and. Because I have counter spell. Oh, I'm about I just fades the block. Oh yeah, I see you're finally awake. What's somatic? <clears throat> a somatic is. Hand gestures. Verbal, okay. obviously verbal. So I ca I'm going to cast Counterspell because it doesn't have a verbal or a material component. It's just somatic. Yeah. And I think I'm going to slam my hand down on the sapphire ring and stop it from spinning. Um, was that you? That was say, that step on your foot. What are you doing? Uh, looking at the sapphire ring is what triggers the effect. Hmm. And uh, the, the group of you, along with this kid mm -hmm. are now standing in another world. Mm. And he snatches before the ring, the ring is like hovering in the air and he snatches it out of the air and he puts it back on his finger. And the, you guys are on, it's kind of reminds you of, a, of one of the little pocket universes you were in when you went to the, uh, this is like, you guys have been to the astral sea mm -hmm. and then you went into the underdark. I just realized this. <laughs> uh, you went into the underdark. This is like one of the probably the most multi-planar campaigns I've ever run. That was just not on purpose, by the way. We've been other places, I guess, probably. Correct. Like, 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 yeah. well, like you guys have been to Alloy and stuff yeah. like that. But this, the first thing you notice is that the sky is, appears to be like solid sapphire. Mm. Like there's not blue sky. It's like gemstone. A, oh. it's, it's a giant gemstone stretching across from horizon to horizon. And there's uh, green hills, and there's a tower, a tall, you guys are right outside this tall, thin, white tower. And Marcellus Scipio, this uh, centurion of the Commonwealth, uh, says, I have some friends I'd like you to meet. Oh, well, we're here now. Wait, I hope you're not, he, he puts his hand on your shoulder. You're not alarmed, are you? Don't touch him. I apologize. I don't mean to be overly familiar. Now that we're here, tell us about your friends. Uh, well, they're right inside. Follow me. Where are we? Uh, this place is called the Sapphire Sky. Or the Sapphire Realm, I think she calls it. She? Yes. Who's well, she? Was one thing at a time. Mm. And so as you, the, the, the tower, this tower is huge. It's probably like seven levels Based on, and you guys are right outside it. And there's a courtyard outside that you folks are in. The hills, the green hills stretch out to the horizon. And there's a wall around the tower. <clears throat> Does the diplomat's Again, couch I... work uh, interplanar? Yeah. You want to oh. send letter to Angel and be like, something weird's going on. I know, we went for a Remember rest. us? <laughs> yeah. Right. Absolutely. We died the way we lived. We had a nice kid. Bumbling across the multiverse. <laughs> 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 Blabbing our mouths to too many people. Uh, but he doesn't know you guys. But he goes, he goes, don't, please, don't be alarmed. Uh, I'm not. This is uh, this is what you might call a, um, I don't know what a what the what a layperson's term for it is, but this is a kind of pocket uh, realm. I mean, that wasn't bluster, man. Like, that's a pretty normal day for us yesterday. Mm -hmm. So, you know. Well, I know a little bit about about the chain. I know that you I know that you served in Alloy for a while, but they haven't told me everything. Anyway, please follow me. And as you walk in, he says, "So, uh, what, tell me about the the Sun Elf that you folks fought." And there, there are uh, guards, human guards, that open these large double doors, and you folks walk into this tower. I think we should wait to tell anything further until we meet whoever you want us to meet, so we don't have to repeat ourselves. I don't, I don't see the harm of telling them about the Sun Elf. That's how we got here in the first place. <laughs> how is that how we got here in the first place? I Probably think I would just that we start him. answering, to be honest. Yeah, I mean, I mean I've, uh, I've, he was wreaking guys. havoc on the city. I riffed together a song about it. Yeah. <laughs> Sing the song. 
<laughs> Same with all the, yeah, all, I'm all surprised kind of, Slim didn't just start going I mean, off was, about you know, it. I had some wine, God. but I'll try and like just you know scramble out a couple of bars as best I can remember. Nice. No root. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> did the um do you don't happen to remember if if the celestial said anything to you, did he? Actually, don't tell me. Don't tell me. We well there we have we have folks to meet. Mm-hmm. So the inside of the tower. Yeah, Dom. I was, I was gonna say, well what he said was <laughs> anyways. Because <laughs> uh, he said that there's, was, yeah. a, there's a, a lot of people working in this tower. It's kind of what you would expect to see in a wizard's tower. Mm-hmm. Right, uh, and there it's much like the stays. It's very multicultural. There are a lot of elves in here, um, and mm-hmm. various other beings. There are like there's a fire ganasi in here. Mm-hmm. Uh, there are no there are no tieflings. Uh, you notice, but yeah, there's a lot of it's. There are libraries, and you're led to a led up a long spiral staircase. And Marcella Scipio apologizes for the climb. He says we can we could jump from one realm to the next, but stairs. Uh, and eventually you're in you're led to a large uh, room, red, the walls are red, the floor is red. There's uh, many people here doing research. It's uh, the walls have bookcases on them, library. And the first thing you notice is that there's a raised dais, a large pool, kind of like the pool you guys mm-hmm. jumped into in the, uh, mm-hmm. uh, in that, yeah, that, mm-hmm. and, that is very similar man. looking. Mm-hmm. And hovering above and behind the pool is a figure that looks a lot like the sun elf you met. Oh, okay. Except this one is uh, silvery, opalescent, uh, doesn't have wings, it has white hair, and its eyes are closed. And an uh, and it's just like meditating, hovering in the air above and behind this large pool, which itself is on a raised dais. Hmm. And there are <clears throat> wizards or sorcerers or whatever in here doing doing research, taking large tomes off of mm-hmm. uh, out of off the library. And you folks kind of, apart from the fact that you're a drow and a gith and a tiefling, you fit in. Like there's a lot of crazy races here. Including a orc. There's an orc that uh, Marcella Scipio calls out to, and this orc is a not a half orc. He's a orc, and it seems old. Uh, old orc has very fine, needle thin tusks that jut out of his lower jaw, and he's wearing a bone breastplate that has a gold dragon uh, painted on it, mm-hmm. and the dragon's kind of curled up, almost like a Chinese dragon. <clears throat> Sorry, this is my voice. I apologize. And Marcella Scipio calls out, and the orc turns around and says, "Aha! It worked." And Mar- Marcella says, "I was I was very persuasive." And this orc strides forward and extends his hand. King, commander of the Chain of Akron. It's a pleasure to meet you. My name is Darren Garvia Silencer. Uh, a bias silencer? <laughs> Mars, Mar, uh, Scipio says, uh, we call him the Vile Silencer. It's a title. Okay. Vile. Go silencer. ahead and say that name one more time. Derengar Vile Silencer. Oh, Vile. Derengar is an orcish name. Derengar Violin Slicer. A violent. Violin Slicer. Vile Silencer? Yeah. Vi- yeah. And this uh, this area the, is called what? The... Sapphire. Sapphire. You're in. The, you're in. What? You're in. Uh, you're. Yeah. yeah that's on. Sapphire. Sapphire. Sapphire realm. Yeah. The sapphire realm is what he said. She called it. I don't know why my voice is going. When she. When he says she is. Do, you, do we think he's referring to the the, the silver sun elf hovering above the mm, pool? Possibly. I mean, that's that. Mar- Marcellus will tell you. He's like, oh yeah, absolutely. Mm. Uh, slim. Right? Yes. Slim. Yes. Yeah. That. That is. Uh, that is the our benefactor and the benefactor of the and the architect of the sapphire sky, and uh, the, the orc size the orc this says, creature up. Like, is it stronger, <laughs> weaker? Well, I mean, than the one we just killed. The the uh, the, the orc looks at you and says, um, "Nowhere near as strong." <laughs> He's such, like, uh, but you were lucky. The orc says you were lucky. The uh, the creature that you fought was mad. Uh, if it had its wits about it, it would have made short work of you. But if it had its wits about it, it wouldn't have attacked you in the first place. Mm-hmm. Uh, sorry to have brought you here under such uh, unorthodox circumstance, but I think we have a lot to talk about. 
it might have been fate, but it was you that the sun reflecting off a lover's eyes met when it escaped Ringwell. And so it is you that we have brought here to speak to. I think you may have a lot of questions, and we have answers. Um, this is the Tower of the Moon, he says. Uh, so this is like a, a moon celestial? Well done. Well done. I shouldn't be surprised that a gith would know such things. But uh, well, I'm sure this pocket universe doesn't even phase Slim. I mean, he's been, well, pa- inc- like, he's been to many worlds. Like, you know, Sumat yeah. Pole has his own little, like, it's mm-hmm. not a pocket universe, it's a mm-hmm. fold mm-hmm. in that universe. Mm-hmm. Uh, but yeah, if you guys have questions, these guys can answer them. And uh, the orc, this old orc with this bone white armor, mm-hmm. says, uh, Welcome to the Resistance. The war against Ajax starts here. Oh, oh, Ooh. 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 resistance! Yeah, like that. That's fucking cool. Mm-hmm. I like the you, sound of that. You folks have a lot of questions. <laughs> Who's that? Everyone just uh, goes, Ooh. Ooh. Yeah. Marcellus, Ooh. Marcellus has, has been bringing yeah. the broadsheets. Uh, I've read a lot about you. Oh, Marcellus has read the broadsheets. Well, Marcellus has brought me the broadsheets. The oh, orc okay. says, and this orc is speaks in a very civilized manner. Does not have a, does not have any kind of. Often orcs have a hard time even speaking common because their jaws are shaped very differently. Mm-hmm. Um, but this one is, seems very civilized. Hmm. Uh, what drove the sun elf mad that attacked the capital? We don't know, but it may have been the price it paid to be sealed within Ringwell for eternity. Why would it want to be sealed there? The, protector? the sun elf that you met... Uh, this is going to be a long speech. Marcellus, can you get us food and drink? And he says, I think they already ate. He says, oh, have you, had, uh, have you broken your fast? Yeah, but, uh, oh, you know, yeah, wouldn't say no to drink. Nibbles would be appreciated. Nibbles. Yeah, so Marcellus will go and grab you guys. But they, they have a, there's a large uh, table that has a map of Orden carved into it. It's, doesn't, it's not magic or anything. It's just a cool table. Mm-hmm. And they sit across it. And the whole time, there's this moon elf hovering in the air over this large pool, just meditating uh, as people are walking by and doing magical research in here. And the orc sits down kind of, and what was the question you had about? Uh, why, why? Uh, why did it want to be trapped in Ringwell? Yeah. Well, it was an uh, ally of the, of the last emperor, of Octavius Maximus, a good friend of Octavius's, and it volunteered to be interred within Ringwell and act as a seal. You see, I think we now have discovered where Ringwell is, and as many suspected, it lies within capital. In fact, I think it lies in the district that young Marcellus found you in. In fact, I think you were very near the entrance to Ringwell, an entrance. Uh. And that's good news for us and also bad news. You have many questions, uh, but we brought you here for answers. Ask. What uh, have we ever heard? I don't. I don't remember ever talking about the ring well. Like, uh, we talked Sumat with uh, Sumat Pole about it because we were asking about the jade hand and stuff, and he was talking mm. about it being in Ringwell. What yeah. is Ringwell? Um, <laughs> well, you're asking me. The orc says you get my answer. I believe Ringwell was a dungeon that Octavius Max uh, Maximus cleared out when he was a young man, well before he began his uh, adventuring career and ascended to emperor. And when it came time for him to seal away the, his knowledge and the power he had accumulated, he went back to where he started and used Ringwell. So its actual origin remains a mystery. It's famous only because it's the place where Emperor Maximus buried his wards. Hmm. So this, he tell was, this guy what the... He was the emperor of the Commonwealth? The Kalian Empire. Oh, uh, so ancient. Uh, yeah, ancient. this is this is um, this is like fifteen hundred years ago. Okay. It's, uh, it was an empire of man. It was the last empire of man. Like the common language that all these people speak mm-hmm. is the Kalian. I see. Right. Okay. Capital was the capital city of his empire. Gotcha. Mm. Uh, so you believe uh, Ajax is breaking these wards and taking them? I believe he would like to. We were misled for a while. I, 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 we have recently learned that uh, the Jade Hand was not in Ringwell. So we were, had been sent on a merry chase for a while. But uh, if Ajax knew where Ringwell was, mm. I should say when he finds out where Ringwell is, 
uh, then he will muster great forces to take it and the things within, hmm. uh, which means we have to act quickly. So to take those things within yes. before Ajax yes, gets the, them. the emperor's wards span uh, a vast catalog of lore oh, and artifacts. Huh? What? My little piece of paper. Oh, oh with the, oh, the words on. Yeah. yeah. I don't know. Uh, Angel has a. Uh, we sent it yeah, as a note to him. Mm. <laughs> I think I'll take a picture. You can just say what you can just like. You can I don't just, remember the wording exactly. Well, but your character. Uh, it was yeah. the, the wards need to be restored or something. Oh. Right. Yeah. So, so that's will basically like when when the creature touched me before it died. It said these words. Mm-hmm. The forbiddances fail. The seals are broken. Mm. Yeah, well, that would make sense. The emperor yes. must restore them. I yes. Broken. Well. Uh, Mm. Now, I think probably uh, the sun reflected wasn't aware of in that in that celestial's eyes, probably only a few hours had passed since Ringwell had been sealed and did not understand the gulf of time that separated him from the last things he remembered. So he probably was trying to find his friend, the last emperor who's been dead low these many centuries. Mm. But he said that that the that the seals had been broken. Yes. What does that what, well uh, and he looks over at the moon elf, who does not is not awake, as far as we can tell. Mm-hmm. Looks back, and at this point, Marcellus Scipio, the young the young uh, centurion, is now sitting at the table, and he's he's brought like grapes and stuff like that, and uh, and and fruit juice, mm-hmm. uh, and he's uh, the orc vile silencer says, the uh, wait, I'm sorry, what was your question? This man asking. Um. Boat broken or something? Yeah, about that. Oh, yeah, yeah, he yeah. said that the seals. The were emperor, broken. knowing that the his empire was collapsing and fearing what would happen to his knowledge and the artifacts he had collected, he sealed them in Ringwell. Right. But he had very powerful allies, one of whom you met, the the Solar Celestial, and they did something uh, mm. very clever. They sealed the wards not only from the world but also from memory, mm. uh, which has caused us quite a bit of uh, bother trying to discover what is locked within. We think we know. And the elf was one of the power sources that kept the forbiddances powered. So now that so, that elf is gone... Yes, the information about Ringwell will begin leaking out hmm. into the world. The things that they accomplished will become undone. Uh, we don't know exactly what's in Ringwell, but we're going to start finding out. Uh we don't know who broke into it. It's very, it seems very unlikely to us that the magic would fail after such a short period of time. It's only been 1,500 years. So well, where that, was the Jade Hand then? The Jade Hand was in the Pharaoh's possession. So the How, Jade Hand was previously in Ringwell? No, that was a mistake on our part. Mm. Uh, right. Again, the, what the, the, the sun reflected and some of the Emperor's other allies were able to remove the memory of these items from the world, it, their history, their existence. Mm-hmm. So we've had to operate off of mostly conjecture to discover what these things were. So when the Jade Hand appeared, we thought, ah, the Emperor is on his... And many people thought that or the, the Ajax is on his way to collecting the wards, but it turns out that the Jade Hand is not one of the wards. Uh, so... How did that thing get out? Yeah. We don't like, know. It, we're... Something they're must trying have to figure out, out who broke the seal that let him out. It's yeah. possible that they almost there now, right? It's possible they disintegrated naturally. That seems very unlikely to us. Right. He looks over to the moon elf, who again doesn't react. But we're hoping you can find out. Uh, do you think he broke from the seal in capital, and that's why he was in capital yes. attacking people? Yes, not not yes. As I said, not only do we think Ringwell is in capital. In fact, now we're certain of it. We think we know approximately where. In fact, we think that Hollywood. our ranger friend could probably find it. If you went back to the place that... What was the first incident? Oh, we first saw him. The was it the mold? It was the, the dragon. The, the dragon, dragon. Yeah. The dragon was... You know, we have oracles, and they're very powerful. And we have powerful magics. But nothing beats a, a light bender's nose to the ground. If we're able to locate the entryway into Ringwell in this district and capital, are you able to obscure it from others who would be scrying for this information? We don't know. It depends on how the seals have failed and who who caused them to fail. It and might be that it's impossible to 
we don't have the power to do what the emperor and his allies did 1500 years ago mm. but so, we may be able to repair <clears throat> um the forbiddances could you not just destroy it destroy the entrance but not without breaking it like if there is a door mm -hmm. and we destroy the door mm. that just leaves an archway that anyone can enter or exit through well, how, how do you get there? I mean, I, I, I take it you don't know. That's the thing but. I know. I'm curious if you need, if it's just another portal or if it's actual. Or as you said, it's a dungeon, so it's in physical right. place. Is it, is is it, it like, like a physical place yes. in that world? Oh, yes. okay. Oh, okay. Yes. So it's not like another pocket dimension. Oh, so it's, it's located within the mundane world. I yes. see. So oh, it's just wow. a dungeon underneath capital. Yes. The tunnels. Oh. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Um, yeah. Asked, uh, just to be clear, you've called yourself the resistance, but who against? Against in this Ajax. instance, currently, Ajax is the greatest threat to the oaths, the oaths of opposing evil that we have made. <clears throat> I see. And, and who swore you to those oaths? He turns and gestures to the window. Its pale white light glitters off ripples in a pool. That's her name? Yes. Um, so is the goal here term. to recover the wards of the last emperor and then keep them safe? We were sort of hoping that they might be deployed against Ajax. That sounds good to me. Yeah. Mm. So, I mean, we I, don't know what's in Ringwell. It's a combination of lore and artifacts, some good, some evil. We think the sword of a million years might be held within. We think this prismatic scepter might be withheld within. We don't know. But these all sound like things that might defeat Ajax. Well, some are good and some are evil. There is a the sword of a million years. Mm. Sounds pretty tight. What should, I mean, what should we do if and when we are to stumble upon this entrance to Ringwell? Sounds like he wants us to go in. Yeah, he wants mm -hmm. us to. Mm -hmm. We need the things Clear. within recovered. Yeah, and brought here. Are there well, more... it's possible you may be able to reseal it, but without mm. uh, sunlight reflecting, where would that power come from? But we don't know. Uh, we don't have a map of Ringwell. The lore of it was <sighs> the emperor and his friends did an excellent job of obscuring the existence of the place. So basically, nature. if we were to get a hold of all these artifacts. And this lore and bring it here to the resistance and use it to defeat Ajax, that kind of negates the uh Oh I found your little note. Sorry. The, Better late than ever. Mm. Negates the necessity to lock this stuff away from Ajax. Oh, yeah, we've got He's evil. not even a problem. There is always anymore. evil. He, he, mm -hmm. uh, the orc holds his hand up and then uh Marcellus Scipio leans forward and says someone else will be searching for them. Ajax wants them. Yeah. So it may be that they'd be better off destroyed. Who knows? Yeah, he's bound to one of me. They may already be ahead of us. Well, Ajax's allies within the city may be the reason that the seals failed. Yeah, it seems Do you know someone's found it and broken in, right? And that's how the elf got out. Kind of makes sense. Yeah. Do you know who his allies are in the city? We've heard rumors. They're very well protected against our oracles. But we know that they use shadows. Oh, uh, fuck. wait a minute. Yeah. That's those ones that come to get you. Uh -huh. in your first get us a list. <clears throat> what was that reaction? Well, I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a, uh, I had a, uh, an encounter <laughs> with um, a handful of shadows that, that uh, attempted to assassinate myself and a contingent of our men in an inn in the stays. And what do you remember about that incident? Just that uh, there was a window broken in the common room. It appeared that one of the guests had been killed and turned into a shadow, which then subsequently killed other there guests. Was a, metal thing there was an iron bar on oh, the floor. Yeah. There was an iron bar on the floor. When you say that, Scipio and Bile Silencer look at each other, and uh, Scipio smiles, and Vile Silencer, the Vile Silencer says, 
We think they call themselves the Black Iron Pact. Black Iron Pact. It's good. We get a lot of juice. A lot of, a lot of juice. And they are allies of Ajax. How much do you know about Ajax? <clears throat> Bile says. Oh, yeah. Well, we know that he went to the War College. Yes, Scipio says yes. We know that he went to the War College and att- a- attended there, and I believe he graduated top of his class. Um, with uh, who did he go there with? Alvaro. Duke. It was Alvaro. Yeah. They graduated together, apparently. Well, uh, things have advanced somewhat since he graduated. Well, obviously, we ran. Uh, he Black killed Hall. Good King Omen. He got uh, Mandrake to betray him and the Dragon Knights. Yes, it was all in Vasloria, yes. Yeah. Uh, he's defeated the Pharaoh mm-hmm. and taken over. Uh, I don't remember what that place is. He, he declared himself him. a saint. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He calls himself saint the Iron Saint. Oh, he does? The Black Iron uh-huh. Act. We don't know where he gets his power from. At least he, Scipio and I do not know. Hmm. Is she gonna wake up anytime soon? How is she? Yeah, how is she yeah. tied into all of this? Can we, this is her realm. She can't. Uh, you keep looking to her for answers. Well, she's uh, communicating she, telepathically. Oh. Yeah, what's what's her connection to to mm. to this to the mundane world to Ringwell to to the resistance? Uh, the knights of the Golden Cross are sworn to; they're her knights. Uh, we are sworn to oppose evil wherever we find it. Oh, okay. And right now, that means Ajax. She created this realm. The Tower of the Moon is her tower. She stayed behind when the others left. Who are the others? She, uh, her kith and kin, the other celestials. I don't know how well versed you are in history. Your chronicle goes back quite a ways. It may even have, it may even have lore pertaining to this in it. But when the rest of the elves went to live with their god in Arcadia, she stayed here. Mm. She can't leave capital. She won't tell us why. Mm. Technically, we're still in capital. Mm. Okay. Oh, I see. The Sapphire Realm is nested within and concurrent with the city. Okay. You also notice that this dude has a sapphire ring on. Mm. Yeah. Define evil. Uh, Just getting a bunch of brain teasers tonight. He says uh, cruelty, selfishness. Questing for power with no uh, limit. Hmm. There's a list of gods I could uh, I could rattle off any of, all any serving any of which would count willingly or knowingly or unknowingly. Mm-hmm. Uh, so she stands against Ajax because because Ajax is evil and the power. Whatever right. the power source he has is something that opposes her. Uh, it's not my place to say, but the knights of the knights of the Golden Cross quest across the world, uh, stamping out evil cults wherever we find it. It just happens to be that Ajax is the biggest problem right now. So, is Ajax evil? Yes, the or- orc says. Yes. How do you know? Maybe he has some grand vision for this smelly world. <laughs> what does the one have to do with the other? Perhaps his vision is for the good. Uh, his vision is the world awash in blood. Hmm. Why be in charge of a world that is destroyed? That doesn't make any sense. Is he mad? Not yet. I mean, have you seen how he dresses? <laughs> um... Uh, who else is part of your resistance? Well, everyone here, the the wizards and arcanists that work in this in the tower. If we join, we have agents in the city. We have agents across the world. <laughs> Why work with us? We're not. We're no saints. Uh, no. But you stopped. You solved the problem of the black dragon, 
which is the sunlight reflecting his power is so enormous that he was able to reach into that dragonborn's distant ancestral heritage and pull from it and the dragon that founded it. And likewise, mm. uh, he's able to, the magic around him spontaneously manifests. Uh, he turned me there. into a shrub. What does that mean? <laughs> <laughs> Long ago in the history of it means your, what, your your past. Past. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Conceived under a tree. He, oh. he, he takes what you said seriously and he says, the Celestials have the power to create life, uh, to create entire species. It's possible that, that the elf that you met is responsible for creating the awakened plants that we experience in our world. Hmm. He may have authored them. Whoa. And in his madness, he was trying to do the same thing again. <laughs> uh, well, uh, we're interested in this job, but being a mercenary company, uh, we do have our contract to kill mm -hmm. uh, Mortem, as you know. And we're an in-capital working towards said contract. So in order to take this job, we need... Uh, some sort of compensation that's going to help us further that goal, which sounds like also furthers your goals. We're not really in the business of uh, paying people to do the right thing. Why are you talking to mercenaries then? Well, we weren't intending to hire you with coin, but it was you who stopped the dragon and the mold and killed and stopped the mad elf. And it was you, I believe, who can find the entrance to Ringwell. That is your value to us, and your hatred of Ajax. It certainly sounds like there's power down there yeah, that would can help have... us fulfill our contract. Well, I we just want to, like, we can... Okay. It's, hang on, just, yeah. the payment doesn't have to be monetary right, or items, right. but assistance in doing our previous contract is more than worth doing this, I think. Yeah, tit for tat. The, yeah, the I'll wizard's, uh, the wizard's your... a pain in the ass. It, uh, it might so. also just be generally useful for the world for these very powerful items to be split up and managed by multiple different people who mm. can keep each other in check versus all in one place together where mm. a single individual might be able to find them and then use them for evil the orc is the orc is shaking his head as, as judge says that and says our immediate goal has to be stopping ajax from recovering the emperor's awards yeah which agree. we agree this any, would be any, a any other post, any, post ajax world the 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 what is done, like... I'm more so talking about, we just, uh, you know, you most likely want Ajax's wizards dead as well. And that's something we need to achieve. So we would... If we help we you find to... the stuff in Ringwell, will you help us kill Ajax's wizard? Yes. Yeah, that's basically... Yeah. Yeah. That's what we're looking <laughs> just for. Said, cool. The orc just says, yes. yes. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. So you high just... five the orc. Yeah. <laughs> Double high five. Both sides. Uh -huh. teach, him the, teach him the dance. <laughs> yes. We got a chain! <laughs> the moon elf. No, I've got to learn that. <laughs> the, the moon elf opens her eyes. Hey! Ooh. And she's hovering over this pool. Doesn't have wings. She's not a solar celestial. She's a lunar celestial. And she descends. She doesn't touch. Her feet don't touch the floor. And she kind of hovers over. And her eyes look like the surface of the moon. Mm. They are of these, like, you know, white with dark craters across them. And the both everyone everyone in the tower, everyone in this floor of the tower stops what they're doing and watches. As she goes. This doesn't happen very often. Yeah. And uh Vile Silencer and Scipio both stand up like at attention. And she moves and stops and looks at Judge. Uh, and opens her mouth. And it sounds like I don't know if any of you have ever heard this before. It sounds like Someone taking a wet finger and rubbing it across a, mm -hmm. a wine glass. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh, and the vile silencer listens and turns to Judge and says, You are the first member of the Order of Desecration ever to step foot inside the Tower of the Moon. Uh, many members of your order in the past would have fought and died to attain our sanctum. I hope we have not misplaced our trust in you. I have no use of this place. 
do me a favor and make a wisdom save. Yeah. Wisdom. Are, you, are, are you sure about that? <laughs> <laughs> if Asmodeus tells you you have interest in this place, then I would imagine you would. Just well, probably good. Asmodeus That's funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, damn. <laughs> Uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's know. no such thing. What's your what's what's the result? What? So you're not, there's no problem. such thing as a uh, critical yeah, on the critical, same. Yeah. Oh, you it's twenty. Crit- so it's just twenty. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so you have this feeling of you didn't know it before, but there was like this engine running in your mind all the time, mm-hmm. and all of a sudden that engine kind of winds down, and you have this experience of clarity, and you remember. Uh, everything that happened in Alloy. You remember your family. You remember the fall of Alloy. You remember becoming a a member of the Order of Desecration and joining the chain and everything that's happened since then. And then the Moon Elf speaks again in that wind chime glass screeching voice. Uh, And the orc says, Your Grace, I'm sorry to have doubted you. I'll out this once. Uh, and then the moon elf retreats and goes back to the and the other like. Hmm. That was interesting. Wait, grace. Your Grace. Yeah. Your friend is a Marquis of Hell. And, uh, <laughs> Slim makes that noise. Yeah. <laughs> this is not news to you, I am sure. The mild silencer says, but uh, your friend derives his power from the antithesis of our patron. Hmm. Mm. Well, he doesn't know what he's doing with it anyway. So. Well. Does that not make him your enemy? As long as Judge serves the chain, no. Well, when someone joins the chain, they leave their past behind. Isn't that right, Judge? Mm -hmm. (laughs) (laughs) Judge. Mm Mm-hmm. Judge! A little little more convincing. Uh, (laughs) (laughs) Marcellus Scipio looks at the orc and says, uh, the Order of the Golden Cross has been known to uh, turn a blind eye to people's pasts before. And while silent, the orc just smiles. Hmm. Well, you don't need to do that with me. In fact, let me tell you about my past and all the great things I have done. We would love to hear it. We, he's like, uh, uh, this is well, my, my I, think, uh, I think we can do that after we deal with this uh, potential open door. Yeah, well, when we have a so. party after to celebrate. It's 8.30, we're going to take a break. Okay. Oh, <laughs> sing in the song. <laughs> he does tell you, he does say that um, that uh, this is not the first drow to have come here, and you're not the first gith, mm. but you are the first gith Yankee. Okay. Uh, but our, our order has no, um, we have no historical prejudice against either you or your kindred. Unlike, is he talking? Oh, he's, he's talking. talking to, uh, he's talking to Slim, mm-hmm. and in in as an example of, as opposed to some people, mm-hmm. y- your folks are probably fine. Uh, so we're gonna take a break. We'll be back in about thirteen minutes. Minus, minus, we don't know where we lost Lars. Lars is gone. Yeah, I have. Yeah, we cast okay. invisibility on. Yeah. Welcome back. That's the one that made the mini. I think it was. Right. I don't know if it was the guy who made your. Uh... I thought it was yeah. on the same. A stamp for the commander. And a mini of the lieutenant. Okay. Yeah. Hey, everybody, welcome back. Howdy. What's all the? Uh, who, who's, who made these? The, I just put the letter down. The phone. Okay. You don't have to. It's yes, true. Of course I don't. I could. I could just get up and go home if I wanted to. Wow. <laughs> I could do whatever I want. <laughs> Which stop you? you try, yeah. And then you get to run. Yeah. <laughs> We're all armed. Yeah. I mean, it's yeah. some point. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Correct. Uh, at, at some point, I don't know when. Uh, soon-ish. I'm going to take a, a real actual break from DMing for a number of weeks <gasps> because the culture that I'm from is not one of I run every week for months on end until my brain explodes and also try to run this crazy fucking company. Yeah. Uh, so I'm, what I'm used to is I run for two or three months and then you take a break and recharge your batteries and, and then you play other games or somebody else runs and that may happen. I don't know and I don't know when we're going to take that break 
Um, it would have been today if it had been up to me. <laughs> but that's going to happen sometime in the near future. I'm just warning you folks now. And then we will come back and we will continue and we will pick up the story where we left off. So right now, I think it's mostly just trying to find a good break. Uh, one of the things that kind of blows our minds is that people m- m- make stuff and send it in. And there's just incredible fan art and actual crafting and stuff. Like, for instance, uh, Kevin Nguyen, I believe, is your name. I'm not sure how to start this letter. Well, you started it by saying, not sure how to start. I know how you start the letter. Mm-hmm. So appreciation from Matt and MCDM. And uh, Kevin made this dope stamp, which I love. Uh, and we have stamped on stuff. It's the stamp of the chain. So it's, cool. Yeah. It's really Very cool. Good. Like, I I want to use It's like a legit, like, yeah, very real. official. It is real. Like, it's... Uh, it's not an imaginary stamp, everybody. Yeah, stamp. Oh, yeah. Uh, boots. You can, uh... Now you have entry into the chain. Look at that. Into the chain. <laughs> you can get back to the club. Uh, and also, Kevin painted a this really... super nice. A really cool... Do you want to put... Uh, yeah, let's put it out here. Because it's got... A boots mini. So the, one of the tactical cameras is now looking at the thing, which is going to cause Jerry, I apologize, Jerry, to scramble around trying to figure out which camera is the right one. Uh, oh, there it is. Let me tap it. Oh, I think. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, Kevin's met my friend Jim. That's cool. Yeah, so Kevin made this dope stamp, which I'm just going to stamp everything with now. <laughs> and a really cool mini. Thank you, the Kevin. This mini has leopard print boots on, I believe. Yes. It has leopard print yeah. boots. The Mooncat boots like leopard to match my own ridiculous boot. That's habit. amazing. But yeah, this is, it's fantastic. It's like extremely well painted. And that presentation I box think this is as probably well. better than the mini that I made. <laughs> So good. Oh, God. Meanwhile, uh, Alan <laughs> sent us to use as inspiration uh, <laughs> markers these 3D printed coins, which I don't think you can see, really, but they have my face on them. <laughs> inspiration! <laughs> <laughs> and it's horrifying. It's yeah. pretty terrifying. Yeah, that's inspiration. It's pretty terrifying. <laughs> Disadvantage. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, it's, 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 yeah. it's well made, don't get me yeah. wrong. It's it's major failing is the is the is the is the person whose face it is. <laughs> that's that's the problem. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm you hold it up to the light. It looks like photographic. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is like you, it's yeah. If you if you high quality three D print. Yeah, it's mm-hmm. pretty great. Wow. Yeah, if you if you shine a light through it, which it's obviously I don't know if I can do here. We don't have a camera close enough, but uh, <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty cool. So. When somebody, so for instance, somebody suggested that I should give Anna inspiration for the dispel magic against the dragon. Mm. Makes sense to me. There you go, Anna. Well, it's too late now. There's my face. There's my face. <laughs> Enjoy it. <laughs> Enjoy his face. What? I want one. Oh, okay, sure, yeah. Oh, Jerry wants inspiration. Yay! Yeah. Nice. Good throw. I had to thread a needle of a lot of my calls. Yeah, I had to like, 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 like that like, was not an easy task. Yeah, it was, it was like you guys can't oh, see yeah. the centers. Oh wow, look at that! Oh, you're right. That's like yeah. yeah when you're not real. Uh, when you shine a light through wow. it, when you shine a light through it, suddenly that's like my face, oh, it's like almost like, photorealistic. Yeah. My face it turns from a Shambly Mountain face to a real face. Yeah, <laughs> that's that's like it. I think it's I, Shambly Mountain face is pretty accurate. Do you know what Teddy Tubby's over here? Like the moon. Oh my god! There he is, Teddy Tubby. Neil Armstrong walking on my face. Oh, that's yours, uh, oh, thank yeah. you. So thank you. Thank you, Alan. <laughs> thank, thank, thank you for being inspired <laughs> to make these inspiration right, coins, which we've already used. I just gave Judge inspiration for yes. uh, figuring out. Also, ah. uh, the fine young gentleman who made uh, Judge's sword, whose name I am going to remember as soon as I get to the end of this. Craig, thank you. Also known as... Computer Capers and Wintermute on the Discord and Outward Polycorp on Twitter sent us an armory. Sent mm. us like like we're armed now. This uh, gentleman makes does wood crafting, basically a blacksmith but with wood. So 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 I don't know if you guys can see this, but uh, yeah, he sent boots a Riohan. Uh, rapier, which is essentially, I believe, his implementation of your drawing. Yeah. Correct? Yes. Oh, look, yeah. you're, you're on the TV. They definitely did their. They definitely did their homework. Here. Yeah. There's even the. There's even. This the, is yeah. This is pretty much one for one. 
Which and it's made out of wood, which is just duly impressive. Yes. That this is basically the sword that I drew and posted on Twitter and was like, hey, I drew a sword for uh, boots. People probably so. can't see this, but there's actually a spring loaded mechanical trigger that if you pull it'll it'll shoot this little <laughs> yes. trial. Well, yeah. Poison dart. Yeah, yeah, basically, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a 3D6 yeah. sword. Uh and Amazing. Copper has a, a, a goblin short sword. So These cool. all have proper names, by the way, which Oh. <laughs> this is read called, it. but they're words that I don't know what they are, so I don't know how to say them. <laughs> Do you have it written down? Is it in here? It's somewhere? in there. It's yeah. in there. It talks about like, why are you making me read it? Because I want to hear your pronunciation. <laughs> so a copper is given a CX, which is S E A X, S E A X. Blimey. Axe. <laughs> a simple combination of short sword, large knife, and tool. The CX is a candy companion for a ranger with a big hat. Mm -hmm. It is oak blade with a pot of. Edge, Paduk Edge insert and walnut handle set in a plum wood stand. Plum. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That mm, stand is so pretty. It's all gnarly. These things came in the huge boxes that had to be like unscrewed. <laughs> they were incredibly well packed. Mm -hmm. cool. And then uh, what did uh, Slim get? Slim got a uh, version of uh, his uh, Jambia. So it's got so. The, the, the the cool curly thing. Yeah. And uh, yeah, that's really badass. Yeah, it's kind of, it comes with a stand that it all fits Just together. like the one that he carries. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, it's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah, and it comes with a cool stand, which I didn't want to take off my shelf because it's a pain in the butt to get it out there. <laughs> yeah, there's actually, I don't know if you can see it, but uh, there's actually a slot to put yeah, the, the you can you can have the, the blade in the uh, stand. It's really cool. Mm -hmm. It's really cool, and I believe uh, Mr. O'Driscoll. Yes, got something got something. I did something. look a present, nice a prezi. presentation a bit of a box. Prezi. And yeah. Leech got his own surgeon. Scalpel. Yeah, surgeon scalpel. So now I can uh, actually perform some work. <laughs> Ooh, nice and sharp <laughs> in real life. No, yeah. no, 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 no. no. Uh, Thank you very much, kind sir. Yeah. Thank you. Pretty crazy. And then I believe. King, <clears throat> Lars's uh, character has his. Oh, sorry. Yeah. yeah. What's that block? Is that like a, that's cool? <laughs> Careful that's so I can uh, wafting his sword around. <laughs> uh, I can put the sword. I can use that as a uh, a scabbard. Yeah, that's cool. Can it's I see it? I, don't know if I, haven't, I haven't looked at yours. Uh, oh, it's cool. It's got these leather straps. I get it. Wow, this is pretty awesome. It's got this like pounded copper on the hilt. It's really, it's super fucking cool. All this stuff is unbelievable. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. The work is like amazing. I have no idea if this gentleman does this like commercially or as a hobby. I think he said in the letter, which I don't I'm have right now. I'm saying that he's no, like a furniture. Uh, I don't know if it's in here. Oh, I was just speculating wildly oh. because I don't ah, know I see. who uh, just have knife such a leech, variety of uh, hard jam or around. king. Yeah. A maple. This is crazy. What's crazy is I'm, I'm pretty certain for all the blades that are that red color like they're not if i remember they're not stained, they're not stained. that color just, that is just the oh, color wow. of the wood which is like really cool huh. so cool. yeah so i so i don't know if i i don't i don't know if craig makes <clears throat> these things commercially or if he just did them uh, because this, he's a hobbyist and he sent them to us but you can look him up on uh, twitter or uh, he's also in our discord uh so thank you very much like yes. we, we are incredibly uh uh, blown away by your generosity and like judge it like when we have people come by the office friends of ours and co-workers and stuff like that one of the first things we show off is is the flag that somebody made for us and the sword uh judges flamberge and so now we've got more we have so many things we have more now. Yeah. weapons to show the off. arrows yeah oh. yeah oh and i i got this shirt Okay. That's yeah. true. Yeah. That's yes. true. The shirt is uh, that, yes. Lar somebody sent. Who was that? Lord Durk. Was it Lord Durk? <laughs> I thought it was. I didn't want to say. So the king of the mods, nice. the king of the mods, uh, sent Lars a shirt that said, "I'm having a good time." <laughs> Maybe the mods were tired of asking, answering questions. Yeah. <laughs> Why is Lars always seem so miserable? Are so we now, now we, have to, we said you have to wear that shirt every time we play. His uniform. Uh, this is the happiest I've ever seen him. <laughs> <laughs> now he has a sword. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's nine o'clock. It's already nine o'clock. Uh, uh, so I believe now we are going to look at some of the fan art that people. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, uh, oh, I'm which so is, excited. Which I, I don't know if I've seen any of this. Uh, once mm -hmm. again, uh, 
you know, some of the stuff we do here is it inspires people to make art, Wait. and that makes me happy. The idea of our art. <gasps> Slim! Slim attacks! I, I love this piece. I didn't yes. see this. I, this was almost like... It is a cool take on Githy Yankee. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this looks yeah. like it could be like a Brom piece mm -hmm. or something. This is like Dark Sun Githy Yankee. I think it looks really cool. Yeah, it's so like, it's so realistic. Yeah, this is oh. great. This is great. I want to so watch. Is, I want to watch the show. I want to read this comment. Yeah, it looks like, like a, a, a cell from an animation. Yeah, yeah. this is yeah. this is mud uh, reporting like to the King. Noise for the filter first time. just adds mm -hmm. up so much. It's so cool looking. <laughs> oh, I just saw this. Yeah, this is great. Yeah, everybody loves a copper and big cat. Big cat's so strong. It's so st so strong. <laughs> so strong. I like that you're sitting on Big Cat's head in this. Yeah. yeah. It's well, so she weird. has her tentacle wrapped wrap around me too, so like I could aim and shoot at the same time. Oh yeah, this is great. Yeah. Oh. Oh, this is the That's sun the that's off the mm -hmm. lover's eyes. The yes, sun that is the sun reflected eyes. in the lover's eyes. Yes, that's the name of that elf. Till yeah. he lost it. Yeah. 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 The emperor must restore. The eyes are super. Cool. This is oh. Dark oh yeah. Look at this. Dickeroni. Yeah. Dickeroni. De Corona. Yes. Right. Valerian, right. Valerian, right. Valerian de Corona. Don't yeah. correct it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, the dragon. Yes. Yeah. Even but the, the dragon has dragon. this like smile. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Roots. Judge word. So Roots apparently this word. is a reference to also some animation uh, kids animation series. It's called SpongeBob. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Somebody says is that what that is? Uh... No, that's not SpongeBob. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, there's the sun. Yeah, this is cool. awesome. This is great. I love this style. is like really, really cool. Now that we have a full-time artist, I thought about asking Jason to draw something that happened or get one of our artist friends to get I'd, I like Slim's It's been a long time story. since we've done it. Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> yep, I uh, I see. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, the Pythagorean theorem. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. yep. I mean, it's I'm big. like small because I'm way back here, but... Yeah, yeah because you're far away. Yeah. You your hand up, you're like, it's just yeah. like the size of my hand. It's yeah. tiny. Yeah. Awesome. That's Thanks. Awesome. It, it's, so it, cool. it's just, yeah, brings us a lot of joy. Yeah. Uh, Thank you, everyone. Kind of Salute. Somebody so, said we need a counter uh, for Boots Nonsense. Up on oh, Boots yeah. Nonsense, <laughs> a number of days. <laughs> number of days, yeah. yeah. I, I, can't believe, I can't here. believe I left out of the campaign diary the fact that Boots got naked again. Um, <laughs> It just happens so often, right? It is. It's you just, just, just get naked. Away. No, that's true. Yes, yeah, you were you know, turned into a shambling mouth. Yeah. You were turned into a giant sized man thing. Shambling <laughs> channel. <laughs> Blimey? Blimey. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Might as well that yeah. <laughs> DC Comics joke. Um, uh, welcome back, folks. Uh, I think we're going to try and play some uh, Dungeons or Dragons now. You folks are still in the Sapphire Realm in the Tower of the Moon, uh, which in a somewhat confusing manner is technically still in, in capital. Uh, it's, a, it's a pocket universe contained within the city. And uh, you now have, ostensibly, you have a couple of allies in the Knights of the Golden Cross. Uh, they're also called the Knights of the Gold Dragon. They have a couple of other names. And the the chief of them is the Vile Silencer, who is trying to recruit you to essentially act as their team infiltrating Ringwell. And he explains, you haven't asked, but he volunteers, he says. Uh, I'd very much like to go myself, but should I do so, should any of us do so, he gestures around the room, uh, the Black Iron Pact would know. Mm -hmm. And we'd rather if they if it's possible that it's possible the seals have failed on their own or there's some other agency acting, but the less the Black Iron Pact knows about what we are doing, the better. And so, from our point of view, an organization like yours, familiar with um, various manifolds in the timescape, uh, familiar in in battle, you stopped the Sun Elf. Even even Mad, a, a lesser organization, would have failed to do so. Many of my own knights would not have been able to do it. So, from our point of view, you're perfect. More than a day's work. We think so, too. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, there's not a moment to waste, then. Uh, if you need anything, uh, you can ask Marcellus, and he'll help you. <clears throat> and Marcellus says, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'm happy to be at your service. Um, I can stay at the... Because I'm, I still have to attend class. But if you need me, I can come by the, uh, the dancing minstrel. Or wherever, whatever is convenient for you. Uh, we normally stay at the Pharaoh's Dream. The Pharaoh's, the Pharaoh's Dream. Yeah, nice. <clears throat> He's like, uh, it's kind of far away from uh, the from the college, but yeah, uh, I can come by and and help out if you folks need anything. Well, I mean, is there mostly I can act as a conduit for information. That's probably our greatest power, is our access to uh, 
the pale white light. Uh, do you guys have a diplomat's pouch? Uh, no. Well, we'll need a, probably a couple days to get we stuff could probably together, get right? Hmm? We'll probably need a couple days to get our things together. A couple of days. Mm-hmm. At least a few days. Like we'll need to. Converse. Well, no, we gotta. We We're already go on, here. Yeah, we need to go on the trail. We're already close. Fresh. Yeah. We'll yeah. Just, yeah like, how long is something like this gonna take? How long is what? Something like this gonna take? It's not like we just go in, pick up things, and come out, right? Uh, it, Ringwell is a major structure. Yeah. Right. We have we home. again we have no we have we have books that reference mm-hmm. Ringwell. The pages are now. I it, understand. It, Very little intel, right? Yeah. So mm-hmm. I'm kind of going in a little blind, with no way to get more information. Well, but like, it's what? not. It's you know. I said we're doing it. Let's go. Yeah. I just I had I had breakfast. Angel. I'm ready. And huh? make sure that you don't want to talk to Angel until you get more intel on who these guys are. Nah, this sounds way cool. Yeah, so. How about <laughs> that? Oh, are we just forgetting that letter? Well, uh, oh, sorry, okay. I just Ooh. noticed that the screen went. It's like went gray, solid gray. Oh. I sort of assume that that is what you folks can see. That thing I'm pointing to that you can't see. I'm <laughs> somewhat ironically. You can see it, right? you ironically just that off you can screen, see this there's thing. a raised dais with a pool and <laughs> yeah, exactly. a giant <laughs> Jerry, no, Jerry hovers above it. Surrounded by screens. So yeah, I, when, I, when I see that, I, get, I start to go. Ah. Um, but everything's fine now. We're all fine down here. How are you? Uh, yeah. All right. So, uh, so, mm-hmm. so, mm-hmm. what, uh, what are you worried about? Well, we have to give, we should at least bother to give the letter to what's his face because stuff doesn't just stop working here just because we go on a side adventure, right? Give it to Angel to the diplomat's pouch. Mm. Just like Come deliver send it. the kid. Yeah. Send our, our courier over there. Uh, send Grumbles. I mean, we, Grumbles. Send Grumbles. Uh, send Grumbles. Yeah, we need to talk to Grumbles. Yeah, we're not about Grumbles. Actually, yeah, he's yeah. still unconscious. That's probably no. <laughs> oh, What? I don't think so. <laughs> yeah, he's not. Have we checked out? I just ditched him over the side <laughs> yeah. of the bridge yeah. on the way. Yeah. He's just on the street somewhere. <laughs> we're going to be, we're going to use Grumbles to monitor the blacksmith that is uh, working on their weapons. He's going to be in charge of that while we're here. 200 days. By the way, I, I mentioned the campaign diary, how surprised that po- folks were that it takes like 200 days to make that, that's assuming you're not trying to make like a really cool weapon which I think some of you folks are and it would probably take like 500 days oh great, mm. great yeah and people were like there Fire. seemed to be this consensus among people that that's crap <laughs> oh, good <laughs> yeah. but I think yeah. that this, I think that the idea is that obviously if it was easy to do there'd be lots of this stuff all over the place as right. there should be no rules yeah. mutiny yeah yeah. <laughs> well, but what if we take them to a dimension where time passes? Well, that's not, that's, not, that's something I talked about is the idea that Slim could take the Somnium to Nebris into the Astral Sea. And, might, and time chamber. Do, do something, yeah. do something yeah. time-wise, because time time in the Astral Sea is different. But, when he does uh, that, I'm going to do push-ups every day. <laughs> all 500 days. <laughs> you don't uh, need to eat or drink there. Oh, wow. There it is. Yeah. It gets so tough. So, uh, Marcellus will be your conduit. Between us and uh, between our organization and yours, uh, this may be this may be the last time that you're here in the Sapphire Realm. That depends on how things go. We'll be back. Is there anything else? Uh, as I said before, our the our power lies in our knowledge more than any martial strength. Is there anything else you folks want to know? What kind of a force should we take with us into into this ringwell if we find an entrance? Um. Uh, it probably help to have a wizard. All right. But uh, apart from that, you folks seem pretty capable of handling yourselves. We don't know what's in there. Uh, it's possible. It's possible. The orc says this old uh, orc warrior says that the, the ringwell has its own defenses. In fact, mm-hmm. now that I say it, it almost certainly does. And those defenses might not discriminate against uh, uh, allies and enemies. Do you, uh, do you know if any of the uh, Lords of Capital are on Ajax's side or attempting to contact or work with him? We don't, but we assume that at least one is. When you say the Lords of Capital, to whom do you refer? Uh, There's like Verona. The leaders oh. of the guilds and you mean the, the Lords great of the great, You mean the Lords of the Great Houses? Yeah. Oh, I, I, thought, wouldn't, count, I wouldn't count it. I thought that's what Matt called them. I thought that's what Matt called them, Lords Matt? of Capital. Me, Matt? Yes. No. Matthew Colville. No. The Lords of Capital. It's an easy. It's an easy mistake. But the Lords of Capital are not the heads of the great houses. Right. They're like that uh, secret organization, right? That like collects together and they all. 
crap. You talked about this before. Well, you're in the presence of one of them. Bell? Yeah. Um, uh, what is the Lord of Capital that you think works for Ajax? We don't know. We don't know who the master of the Black Iron Pact is. Mm. Mm. We're going to be fucking dead when we find out. Uh, so it doesn't even matter. Um, I mean, I wonder if there's any insight they can give us into when we have to deal with these people. Because we need to build, we need to build up our army, yeah. You know, and all this stuff, right? Like, who can help us do that? Who should we not trust? Well, you folks yeah. seem to be doing a pretty good job of reconstituting your uh, members on your own. That's kind of outside. More we've We're more, uh, but I mean, you didn't didn't I read that you just uh, reinforced yourself mm. with a unit of scouts? <laughs> they made it across the ocean. Uh, if you get any more information about the Black Iron Pact, let us know uh, because. They, uh, they've attacked and killed some of our men, and we don't abide by that. Uh, the vile silencer says, I, I apologize for being glib, but I think it will be you who is giving us information on the pact. Mm-hmm. All right. Certainly, certainly if, we get, if we learn anything about this, we will tell you. Yep. But they protect themselves with wards. They have their own, they have their own, sor- so they have their own source of power just as we do. Hmm. What are we getting out of this? Well, I mean, help us kill more of them. Something, yeah. Oh, right. Okay. Well, also, yes, we like, we, I mean, there's a treasure trove of incredibly powerful yeah, artifacts we keep some of that? Mm-hmm. that you guys are going to have access to. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Some of the things, some of the things, some of the things found within Ringwell, <sighs> presuming you survive, <laughs> are. I'm coming out of there with a magic sword or I'm going to die trying. Uh, <laughs> it's a magic sword that plays magic sword. Mm, very important. You're a bard, so that would be that would be the best. Sword. Yes. That would be the best sword. A magic sword that plays magic sword. Yes. Uh, <clears throat> sword guitar. Wait, I'm losing my voice again. Um, <laughs> some of the things you find within, you will have to. We, we will insist that you surrender. But I think I can say on behalf of the pale white light that those will almost always be uh, artifacts of great evil. Mm-hmm. All right. But well, we can keep the rest. No. Well, maybe. He says. Well, we've got a bag Again, of Again, we're not. Let's go. We're, it's, we're more concerned about stopping these items from falling into the hands right. of, of, the, uh, of Black Iron. Mm-hmm. And that's, that's, that's in our immediate short term. Mm-hmm. Right? Like literally in the next 12 to 36 hours, we're afraid that there's somewhere in the city. Oh, that's okay. fast. Yeah, so we go, guys. Somewhere, yeah. somewhere in the city, the Black Iron Pact is having the same meeting we're having right now. Oh wow! Mm-hmm. Because the seals are broken, and in fact, they may have had that meeting two weeks ago. Mm-hmm. They may be the ones who broke the seal. Mm-hmm. If so, we need to know. <clears throat> so this is a this is a race. Yeah. Then maybe we should head off. Yeah, we didn't we didn't give a timeline for delivering the thing to Verona and we want to talk to him anyway. So well, we just said we she, just said well she know. said yeah when you see him give it yeah, to when him. you see him. Right. Well, we didn't see him for a few days. There you go. Right. Plus, we're not our messengers. Yeah. Go. Thanks. Oh. No problem. Yeah. yeah. You just want to yeah. hold on to this one so you can. Yeah, so I can just be like, I'm just going to have a boss. Sure thing, boss. Sure thing, Angel. Boss. And just every time Lars like, hey, look at this. He's like, no problem. Uh, well, when did you send him that time? Huh? I just let him know about the Black Iron Pact. Okay. Um, and that they were the ones that attacked us and that they, oh. So we need, do we need to take. Um, and they work for Ajax. Some of the junior officers with us. Is you, that, could, you could take butts with you. Butts, butts is up. It's up to you. Wizard. Like, I think we should. Like, um, he recommended it. If the orc suggested we take a wizard, we probably should. Well, it, yeah, he only suggests that because, it, like, that's kind of your one. Uh, do you guys have a thief? You sort of. He would sort of. He would. We think. have angel, yeah. but he would think. He, but he wouldn't. He would assume that boots was right. Um, yeah. I, could I mean, do, boots is always out far. Uh, Boots has always been a bard, yeah. but I'm not. Sh- I'm not sure these guys don't but see lock, lock these guys don't. These guys like can't look at you until what class you are. So right. when they look at Boots, they're like, "Yeah, that guy could probably pick a lock." Mm. Right. So you're going to need to be able to pick a lock, and you're going to be able to need to decipher ancient arcane runes. And uh, I can do that. Can you? Are mm-hmm. you an arcanist? These guys. Well, can no, he has. Are you pro- are you proficient in arcana? Uh, wait. Yes. It's yeah, his character thing. Right? Can we see your character sheet, Mister Driscoll? You got a new thing to do that lets well, you read anything. I, well, I did. Which, well, you see, there it is. Uh, I'll have the number three. Uh, 
<clears throat> this is this is. Well, have you, have you because, signed this? Is this a contract? What is this? <laughs> because Schmuck made me this one, and it, I couldn't read it, so I'm moaning. It's too small. It's too small. I can't read it. So he goes, he, he read that. All the time. <laughs> I don't even know how you printed that. Oh yeah, I do. I just figured it out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, you guys have an 11 by 17 printer? Yeah, I was like, rock? Have a That's fucking press cool. That, like, no, he literally just taped it together. Amazing. Like, hey. uh, <laughs> Arcana, you are proficient in Arcana. Yeah. You have a bonus of plus four. Yeah, you're going to need a wizard. <laughs> well, but he but also has the. Uh, but I can read any writing. Sure, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. It's you, up to you. Like, no, 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 no. You ask this guy, Let's get what should we take? Yeah, like, take he looked at you lot and he's like, eh, I probably need a wizard. I don't yeah, know. We'll, so you guys don't need to take a wizard. We'll, it's we'll just go back to the ship. We'll, we'll sub out Leech and bring in butts. Mm. <laughs> See you later, that's how it works, right? Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, it works for me. Do I get the little follower sheet for, like, is that what, how yeah. I will use butts? Okay. Yeah. I'm going to play butts. Oh, well, I'm... No. No. Nope. <laughs> we could get uh, Jason to play butts. Oh, yeah. That'd be cool. Where is he? Bring him in. Yeah. Oh, he went he's home. waiting outside. He's gone home. He's gone. He's gone where? <laughs> home. <laughs> um. Incredibly, um. not the done thing to make fun of somebody's accent. Only a, only a real asshole would do that. Uh, um. <laughs> they're all doing it now. <laughs> I'm surrounded by ourselves. So, uh, yeah. Ourselves fine thing. To ring well. So, right, yeah, so um. let's uh, have Angel send butts over on the tap. Just so yeah, she can get here sense. quick. Yeah. Uh, this is very readable. My paper. Thank you. <laughs> Unironically, like if I can read it. Actually, oh, good morning. Even without your glasses. That's what they need. They need. That's what they need. They need D and D for old people. For everything. <laughs> large print. Every, books. The large print. Large print books. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. You it's saw a, my my angel notepad. The angel notepad. Well, I mean, I guess. Uh, Play old people. Uh, what was the place called? <laughs> um, Ringwell. Dancing Minstrel. Oh. The Dancing Minstrel. The Dancing yeah, yeah. Minstrel. So, so, just so we're clear, like, uh, Vile Silencer is saying, if you have any questions about anything, now is the time to ask. But about military stuff. Though. What, what, we are, our, our job is Those knowing are... shit. Our job is what? Knowing stuff. I thought anyway, it was the That's where their power, their power comes from. But you don't power. really know what's inside, though. No, no one does. The, the Emperor managed to remove the, the history of it from the universe, like, mm. What what kind of things would what kind of yeah. things would I, we ask? If you were if you were us, yeah. well, no, I mean, I'm just like. So we asked them about <laughs> the various noble houses, and it's kind of like, eh, you guys are doing fine on your own. You did uh, mention there were some books on Ringwell. There, oh yeah, and there are there are lots of them, but now uh, now when you go to read it, the 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 words are all jumbled up, yeah. or or erased. Or they're just another page duplicated. Oh. Like they they used the power of Got it. of that solar celestial. Plus, plus, the emperor had many powerful allies, and they conspired to cast some spell, some ritual is probably a better way of putting it. And that ritual removed the memory of Ringwell from the world, so that only the name remained. Right. And so, what's actually in it, we're not one hundred percent sure. Of. Mm. It's not that we're dumb; it's that there's magic stopping us. Mm-hmm. Oh. Right. Uh, do you know what uh, what artifacts AJ, Ajax might have in his possession? Old AJ. AJ. <laughs> <laughs> Old AJ. To his friends. To his friends, yeah. Uh, apart from the Jade Hand, yeah, he does know. Okay. And, and, and he can tell you. Yeah, okay. can you get us that list? Yeah, he, tell, he just tells you. And now we know. And now you know. Okay. Cool. <laughs> uh, so, do you... so I'm, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to figure out. Like the, his his greatest weapon is the Chrysopolis. Yeah. Uh, which uh, pyramid thing. Uh, so it's not a pyramid. That that's yeah. Something else. Yeah. But yeah. Right. That's his. And and he's got. How um, can we wreck that thing? I think it's got like one of the little like, bubble gum things inside of it that our ship has. A uh, mind witness. A mind witness. <laughs> yes, that thing. It might. No, maybe. Um, but yeah, he might have. It's possible that he has a sky elf ally. That would surprise us. Mm. But I think uh, the pale. I think the pale white light would know that. Yeah. And she would have. She probably would have told us if that were true. But maybe not. She doesn't tell us everything. Uh, do you know anything about Mortem's true name? Uh, no. No. Mortem did a. Mortem did an excellent job of uh, the last. The last person. The last oracle we used to try to divine that. Um, Mortem's words broke her mind. She's still alive. Uh, we take good care of her, but she, you know, she'll probably never speak a coherent sentence again. Mm-hmm. What do you know about? Sorry, no, please oh, ask now. Yeah. Ask now. We are very, we, we are very careful about who we admit into the Sapphire realm. And as I said before, this may be the last time you visit it. 
the last the last time I saw Capital, when I left Capital, there yes. wasn't a whole sector of it that was undead. Uh, you speak of Lady Valletta. Yeah. Yes. What's the story there? Lady Valletta holds the Codex Mortis her family has for generations, and she used it to try to resurrect her dead husband, and it failed. Mm. The, the resultant uh, explosion of necromatic energy converted everyone alive in that district into some form of revenant or undead. That's yikes. So some great, some great power is preventing her husband from returning to life. And in her desperation, she turned to a dark power that she did not understand. Mm. And now she is a dead lady ruling over a dead city. Who was her husband in life? Uh, Lord Maximo Valletta, one of, the, one, of the, mm. one of the lords of the great houses. Yeah, the guy that... that, that was, right, right, right. right. But, like, yeah. but like, like, like what, what, what did he do that, that some force would yeah. keep him dead with such... With such a power, we don't know. Mm. You mentioned we don't know, but but <sighs> we think it may have something to do with the Black Iron Pack. Mm. Mm. Oh, I mean, these guys are just yeah. yeah. Well, needs to know how to get the undead people on our we side, but we don't know. Uh, who paid the assassins to kill the prince? Do you have any idea? Our our knowledge lies more in arcane matters rather than uh, rather than the strange the strange motions of the pieces on the chessboard down in the city. He, notionally, from their point of view, the city is below them. Mm -hmm. They think of this realm as being like above the city, mm -hmm. uh, and so that's he's like, we don't know if I were gonna. Think, I, I'm not a politician. I could guess if I were gonna guess. My guess would probably be the same as yours. Who benefited the most from the prince's death? Simple question. You mentioned What's being... the answer to that? Well, how would you answer that question? I don't know. I've been here for like a week. You can learn a lot in a week. <laughs> so on. You're, don't worry. You're a you're a military commander. You're not. You have other virtues rather than being politically sophisticated. <laughs> got him. <laughs> oh, that's <laughs> true. Shade. So <clears throat> I got kicked out of that. The whole start of this. Um, was us taking our contract, as you're aware. Yes. Now, Ajax has... With Lady Serial. Yes, Ajax has allies all over. Um, Indeed. Things went deeply wrong with that contract. We, never we, we attempted to. Do you know, is Kenway Dalroth, is he a supporter of Ajax? Was he the one who betrayed us? Kenway, Lord Kenway of Dalroth. Mm -hmm. No. Okay. How, what was Serial's involvement, if you're familiar with it? Because she's also an oracle. Uh, Lady Serial was the princess of the Orchid Court. Mm -hmm. uh, Ajax forced her father to kneel to him. Mm -hmm. And she swore revenge. I see. I don't think it's much different than the situation you have found yourselves in. Do you know if uh, Ajax has actually defeated the Pharaoh? Yes. Okay. In fact, he has the Pharaoh in custody. He's kept him alive. He doesn't want to martyr him. Why not? Or what, uh, oh, he, he doesn't, doesn't want to martyr him. him. Not murder him. Okay. Um... Is the Empress at risk? Uh, the Empress of Hagar, mm -hmm. yes. Hagar will fall. Uh, I don't think there's any doubt about that. Uh, I don't think there's really any force on Earth that can stop Ajax right now, other <clears throat> than what might be in Ringwell. If the Lords of Capital all worked together, they could probably stop him, but they're not... Uh, and here I mean, I don't mean... I don't mean the heads of the Great Houses. The secret organization. Mm -hmm. They're not really normal. Oh. The Lords no. of Capital aren't a secret organization. They're just a, it's a euphemism. It's a term that's used to describe like the most actual powerful people in the city. Mm -hmm. They're the Illuminati. Illuminati. Kind of, yeah. That's right. Not, that was the term I was trying to think they're of. They're the Illuminati, but imagine if like, I mean, the common people will refer to them like that. Mm -hmm. But anybody who thinks about it for a while, it's like, well, they don't, whoever these people are, they don't get along. They don't work together. Um, but they all know each other. Well, who are they? One of them's right there. Yeah. And who are the others? Uh, uh, Matt will give you a list. Okay. Okay. Fuck, what kind of arcana things do we need to ask? It's up to you. It's not necessarily, this isn't a test, by the way. Uh, it's not like I'm waiting for you to ask. Right. So just don't, question. We don't want to walk out of here and then be like, oh, I should have asked. Well, that's why I went for like uh, Mortem's name and stuff like that. Stuff that Ajax has. Yeah, something like that. Like, well, um, Obviously, if we knew that information, Morton would be dead. 
Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. he's alive, therefore yeah. you can take it on faith. But uh, what what are they calling the Golden Knights? Is that the, yeah. of the Golden Cross? The Knights of the Golden Cross. And is, are there are some of them down on the mundane world yeah. in capital? Yeah, sure. Like you're sitting across the table from one of them, right? But and that's he goes to school. At a the number normal. of them. Yeah. There's not that. We're not like an army. Okay. Uh, how does one become part of your organization? You have to be sponsored by somebody. That was a... Uh, or any gestures to Marcel Scipio, who kind of like, it's like, well, my father was, and so the ring came to me from my grandfather through him. Hmm. All right. So it's a hereditary thing as it well. It can be. Or again, as I say, one could be sponsored. There's a test. How large is the resistance? Uh, including U6? Mm-hmm. Seven of us. <laughs> <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. Um, <laughs> I mean, it'd be about par for the course for a lock. Right? Yeah. Uh, she doesn't tell me everything. So... Uh, it's my job to kind of interpret her her oracular visions and try to implement them, but I don't think we're alone. Mm. Uh, can uh, I always forget what uh, Kamara is the Ferris Kamara, place? Yeah. Yeah. Can you uh, get word out to Kamara that the chain is recruiting in capital? Um, well, we're not. Foes against Ajax? We're not. Uh, people against Ajax? Messengers. Well, you have people in Kamara, I'd assume. Um, I don't know that. I, I don't know that there's uh, Sepsikaf, who's a uh, uh, one of the daughters of the Pharaoh, who was a member of our organization. But she's here. In, she's here in capital. Ah. She well, she probably won't ever go. All right. Well, I got I mean, other ideas for things to ask this person. I don't know if you guys do. Okay. Well, uh, don't think so. I mean, do we need any stuff? Any oh, resources? Yeah. Can I offer uh, anything? Actually, I thought of one thing. What do you What do you know about the Crown of House Valletta? It's um, worth a few tens of thousands of crowns, I would say. Uh, encrusted with rubies and sapphires. It probably most of the noble houses have some kind of hereditary so symbol it's just of a, rule. Just a normal crown, nothing. Super special about it. Yeah, I'm, I'm sure it's spe- special to Lady Valletta. All right. All right. Well, uh, I don't know if you guys, if you want well, to yeah, say, is there any, any items you might give us that would help us in Ringwell? Mm. Uh, I mean, we've got one guy that's still having a hard time uh, damaging things that have. <laughs> 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 Me too, though. I have to use the fucking wand to like make it magic for a second. Oh yeah, that's <laughs> right. And then that's a con- about that. and then that's a constitution or yeah. that's a concentration, concentration spell. Uh, right. Yeah. Well, Marcellus Scipio says can, <laughs> can you use a short sword. So what? Can you use a short sword? All right. There's a question. It's a yes or no question. Can, 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 can you, you use? Oh, I, can I, you, I, can you, I, I got like three words. Can you, use, <laughs> can you use? Can you use a short sword? Certainly. Uh, Marcus Scipio says you'll need this, and he takes his sword off. He says it's my grandfather's sword. Ooh. Appreciate you giving it back to me, but uh, the things in ring, the things in Ringwell will not. Uh, they'll laugh at your at your rapier. Mm. Blimey. Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm inclined to he, laugh at it myself. These he days. It's like a Roman. It's like a Roman short sword. He unclips it, puts it on the table. It's literally just a plus one sword. I can make use of this. But it's his. Uh, it's magic. Cool. I'm honored by uh, more cool stuff. You're entrusting me with this sword, sir. What did you, you say? What did you say? You operate out of the stays at the fair. The uh, pharaoh's in. Dream. Oh, I thought we were gonna. Or the ship. Or the ship. Or the ship. I mean, we receive stuff at the Pharaoh's Inn. I mean, we're yeah, we're, we're already right here by this dancing minstrel. Like, yeah, we could also. If we're, you know, there's, there's no use in like wasting time. That's true. Going back and forth. Yeah. Uh, so I sent a message to Angel to tell Butts to get over here um, as soon as possible. You're right, you did. Are there yeah. any uh, two two handed 
plus one weapons that Judge might make use of. Somebody else's guy have a grandfather. With somebody, somebody else. else. <laughs> Does anybody else have a grandfather on here? Uh, I'll get rather right. Yeah. You got any more of those nice shiny daggers? Yeah. Uh, it could just be a magic sword. It doesn't have to. Whatever. If it's not great, then. <laughs> I just uh, need something that's two handed, is the specific part of it. It doesn't even have to be a sword. It could be a. The moon elf's eyes open. Oh, and, yeah. and, and you hear this, you hear that, and she opens her mouth, and you hear that. And the, I don't know what this, the, the vile silencer says, <clears throat> does this make sense to you? Um, bring the demon's heart. Mm. Oh. Tell Butts to bring the demon's heart. <laughs> <laughs> what? What? Don't do anything with sin metal while you're at it. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> Shush, leech. So she'll... Too. Yes, sir. Uh, <laughs> Michael, what's that scale? <laughs> <laughs> so what else were you guys trying to smith? Sin metal, uh, we were trying to... Vorpal. No, I, I, don't think I, I have a Vorpal. Oh, yeah, that's right. You do. You do. Sin metal and no, uh, more arrows. Yeah, mage slaying arrows. Blood, the mage slaying. Blood metal or whatever it was called. Uh, yeah, they don't have the they don't have the lore for that. They would they would have gone to Lady Serial for that. Mm. Uh, but if you bring the sin metal and you bring the demon heart, they'll they'll turn them into the and things you're looking for. We can do that before we go into the. Yeah, they could do that today. Oh fuck! Yes, what? pass, 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 pass. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> rules uh, mutiny. Yeah. <laughs> fuck the <no>, rules. <laughs> yeah. So, um, <clears throat> uh, Marcella Scipio says, "Let me show you around while we're waiting for your friends." How are they going to get here? I'll get. I'll, well, I'll, when they are at the, well, how long will it take them to get here? I told her to use a carpet. So mm. quick. Okay. Half an hour. So, so. Um, have her own money. Oh huh? no! I said use the treasury. Yes. Yeah, this place is effectively like a um, not. It's a combination of library and magical research place, mm-hmm. and you see people here doing all sorts of crazy stuff, like um, built right doing magical circles. And summoning members of the courts from the from the strongholds and followers, and talking to us, all sorts of crazy stuff happening in here. And uh, you're given kind of the run of the place, uh, and the vile silencer uh, guides you around while Marcellus goes back to the ghostly minstrel. Mm. And after about twenty minutes, Marcellus comes back and but says all this crap. <laughs> Butts is gonna freak out. And yeah, and and uh, <laughs> yeah, Butts Butts is like. She just drops it all. Uh, 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 I'm, 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 we're in another world. Did you see the sky? I thought it was just blue, but, but, but it's, I think it's, I think it's, I think it's a giant, I think we might be, uh, sir, I think we might be inside a gemstone. Mm-hmm. Gemstone and, dragon. And, uh, further. <laughs> just uh, gemstone dragons all the way down. <laughs> oh, that's, um, yeah, that's that's a good point. Like they they do they will tell you on when they te- when they mention other powerful beings in capital who might be mm-hmm. on their side, they reference Balisantrax. She's uh, an amethyst. No, she's a sapphire dragon. But ba- Balisantrax sleeps. Mm. I don't know. No, not like Judge knows who she is, but I know. <laughs> <laughs> Are you ready? You don't know shit. Up. Sort of. <laughs> Yeah. She Sorry. read one story about a uh, dragon. That's one of my favorite gritty. art pieces. Uh, like she two, looked at a picture. two pages out of the I just entire book. Pictures. Yeah, Balisantrax is a ba- Balisantrax sleeps though. So mm-hmm. that's, let's keep let's keep it that way. Mm-hmm. Um, oh, okay. So yeah, she's so she, yeah. Butts is like, what is going on? Where are we? What is this place? I think we're inside a gemstone. You're- and when she says that, uh, Marcellus and the vile silencer look at each other and smile and be like, you've got the right wizard. Mm. Yeah, right. We're going on an adventure and you're going to have a great time. <laughs> <laughs> or else. <laughs> what, 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 what am I, what am I to do with the, these? Uh, uh, give them to Scipio. Uh, is that a, is that a, is that a moon elf? 
Yep. Apparently. Wow. And she like runs up to it and uh-huh. I just grab her that arm. <laughs> she, <laughs> like keep it together. Uh, I'm a, look, oh, I'm a I have so many questions. Look with your eyes. Uh, <laughs> how much does butts know? Uh, a lot. She thinks. Uh, uh, ha, can I? And she wants. She wants to talk to the moon elf. Uh, I'm gonna. I, I judge would look to the orc mm, to, yeah. for like. Yeah, I don't know. Hmm? yeah, we'd all love to talk to them. That's, mm. We'll wait and see. So can she approach? <laughs> can she approach? I'm sure if she wants to. <laughs> give her, give her the shot. Like, and uh, she, but so butt starts like saying, "Um, uh, your your Majesty." Uh, nothing, nothing happens. And butts is like, "Um, ha, my name is nothing. Nothing mm. happens." Sorry, but she only talks to me. Yeah. Talk to me. Yeah, that's yeah, true. Talk yeah. to Judge twice. <laughs> oh, um, I'm the lucky boy. <laughs> so, yeah. She doesn't really talk. She kind of mm. squeaks. Mm, that's true, huh? <laughs> yeah. High pitch screaming. Are there any wine glasses in here? You're <laughs> 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 playing the. Who told her that? <laughs> I wish Butts heard it because then we could just roll Butts from now on. Just walk around with the wine glass. <laughs> um, yeah, Butts. Butts wants to get caught up on what you folks have okay. done, and uh, I assume you tell Butts what's happening. Uh, did you ask about Lady Serial? What in particular? Like, is she is she really dead? Mm. Did you ask about what happened to Nails? No. Did you ask uh, about? No. She just has a list of like all the shit that's happened to you guys. Mm. Like, I was thinking about Lady Serial, but they mentioned her, and I assume she's dead. But uh, well, let's they, ask some questions. Do yeah. you want to ask some they, questions? They, they talked about her in the past tense. Yeah. But I mean, if you want to ask that question, yeah, now's the time. What do you What do you know about what happened to Lady Serial and the Teeth of the Dragon? And Omega Nails. Well, that's a separate question. <laughs> One at a time. And all of it. They. Um. <laughs> I mean, we believe Lady Serial's dead. We think that the destruction of Orion annihilated her. It, it's possible that she survived, but we consider that very unlikely. Mm. Uh, and what of the Master Sword? Completely destroyed, or uh, that's what the Jade Hand does. Uh, it's like made to destroy those. Magic. It's a I got more of a general purpose tool, but yeah, it's a it's an anti magic. Uh, um, uh, it's an anti magic weapon made by the first Emperor of Hergara. Uh, so. Uh, we have a theory what happened to our sorcerer was that some of that energy escaped into him and he uh, began turning into a god. On the Astral Sea? Yeah. yeah. Uh, the pale white light informed us of what happened. Yes. So uh, yeah, what do his, you... Uh, his, uh, he was a, a sorcerer, correct? Not a wizard. Sorcerer. No. Well, he has natural, his natural latent uh, magical power would have just gone into overload. There wouldn't have been anything you folks could do. He wouldn't have been able to stop it. Uh, it's, you know, if he, were, if he had been an, an elf, that would have been a different story. Mm-hmm. But a, a human couldn't contain that kind of power. Hmm. If you hadn't stopped him, it would have it would have destroyed him. It would have ripped him apart. He would have gone mad. Uh, you saw a somewhat similar phenomenon on the streets of uh, hmm. King's Cross. Hmm. Oh, with the, the sun, elf. moon, sun, elf. How he's like turning into a celestial kind of. Hmm. I mean, maybe same I mean uh, high thing. Hmm. Yeah. Oh, I didn't think of that. Yeah. The difference, the, the orc, the orc says, the difference would be, uh, the difference between what your sorcerer was becoming and a celestial, would be indistinguishable. Hmm. Hmm. The sword itself. I think I think it's safe to say that the teeth of the dragon, uh, will no longer be part of, what the master sword destroyed, I believe. The other swords lose their power. Oh, oh interesting. Hmm. That's a new. It's possible that somebody might be able to forge a new master sword, but good to mm-hmm. know. Anyway, uh, uh, yeah. So they they are they're going to be able to make your weapon for you, Leech. Yeah. Um, and uh, I and they're going to be able to make your uh. Demon. What happens is they get one of their lore masters to come, and the lore masters convene, and they're going to take your sword, which they ask for, and they take the demon heart and they put them in the pool. In the pool. A little bath. Yeah. And the Lord of Madness comes out. Fuck. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and uh, 
There, the moon elf opens her eyes and holds her hand out like that, like like stop. And the uh, the lore masters uh, take a step back, and she speaks in her, and then they and they're humans. They speak back in that language, and they have a little conversation. Mm, uh, or, the oh, orc, dolphins. Yeah, well, and the orc watches, and the orc translates for you, and and she says, uh, "How excited is Butts right now?" But Butts is pretty excited. Find uh, it. Like <laughs> Butts is like yeah, hanging exploding. on to the orc, being like. Like completely for having forgotten that I don't actually know this person. Right. But like, holy crap, what is happening? Um, and it's like, what is she saying? What is she saying? And uh, she's saying that they are. She she just asked if they know what they're doing. And they said, this is a tool. This is a tool that our servants will need, lady. And she says that this portal goes to this portal goes to every realm, and and can see through every manifold. Uh, do you know what power you call forth? And they say, it, it, and, and sh- this is the orc translating back and forth, right? And they say, if you will it, then it will be. And in other words, in the orc says, in other words, they're saying, it's up to you. Like whether or not you let this happen, huh. we just, we just, our servants need weapons, and you have given us power. You need to give them power. And then she closes her eyes, and the pool that has Judge's sword in it. And has the demon heart in it, goes from this pale, milky white to black. And in the center of it, there's this glowing red. And out of the glowing red liquid in the black pool rises a demonic hand holding a sword. <laughs> and it's Judge's sword, but now on the pommel, there's this like glowing, polished stone that has a cat's eye, or like a, yeah, a cat's eye in it. Sort of like the eye of Sauron. Huh. Go like <clears throat> pull it from the hand. So this is an evil weapon. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Good>. Right. <laughs> this is. Uh, so now you have a demon friend. How do and you know about that? the vile silencer shakes his head and says, "We must be desperate." <laughs> I thought for sure you'd give her like a goodly aligned sword that would <laughs> torment her. <laughs> that would have been beautiful. That would have been awesome. <laughs> uh, It'd be like having the mind player around, but for Judge. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, I don't know what this sword does. <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs> yeah. So, we'll so yeah. Uh, we're going to have to figure that out. I'm going to have to figure that out. Uh, I have some idea. As soon as you touch it, you feel this connection. You, you're like, uh, I, okay, go ahead and make go ahead and make a charisma save. Uh-oh. Save. You don't even have to roll, you probably save it. You're so high. How does inspiration work? <laughs> <laughs> you, give it, you give it to me and you get to roll. It's advantage. It's just advantage. Oh. Do I get to do, I have to do it now if I want to use it? Or no. I roll and then I decide. You can roll and wait, as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> One. Shut up, Lars. Eight. I'm going to go ahead and use this. <laughs> <laughs> so I got a 16. But you, I rolled, you rolled an eight. Yeah, I rolled an eight. But you can roll higher. Roll higher. Mm-hmm. Here comes the one. one. There you go. You got two ones. Nineteen total. Uh, so you feel the power, the the entity in this sword, kind of like as soon as you touch it, it springs on your mind, like it's trying to attack you. Mm-hmm. Um, but you've been trained to deal with this kind of attack before, and it bounces off of your mental shields. And there is definitely an entity in the sword. Like, uh, there is the heart of the demon mm-hmm. that is in here. And the thing about it is, like, uh, it's probably has a personality and an attitude and all sorts of all sorts of nice stuff. But the thing that it definitely wants to do is it wants to slay other demons. Yeah. Perfect. Like, there's something about, there's something about the thing in this, like, the, the, the demon in this thing hates other demons. Mm. All right. What is he thinking about OD? So he's in a whole oh, like judge. Yeah, yeah, judge. Yeah, well, that he's he's, 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 he's an OD right. devil. Yeah, he's a devil. Oh, yeah. He's a, oh okay. yeah. Is he a devil? Imps, think, are imps devils? Yeah, I think so. Sure. Pretty sure. Oh, we'll find out. It's probably only cool. Oh, so guy. the way this is going to so, so, yeah. Um, uh, I just want to see real quick because the. You're fucking with me. Tiny fiend. You're right. It's a devil shapeshifter. Well, fiend fiend covers devil and demon. Oh, it says, uh, no, devil. it says devil in bracket. Devil. That devil, devil. shapeshifter. Devil. devil. Yeah, devil. Devil. So Judge uh, is going to like... Every day, every day. Every day. <laughs> <laughs> it's life to part with. I know, I know, I know. We're the yeah. worst. 
<laughs> we're the worst. It's such Judge a, is gonna it's... like like touch the blade and say, "Oh yes, we're gonna put you to good work." Oh yeah. Um, oh yes. So I I, I don't want to spring this on you because I think Judge would probably know this, mm -hmm. and even if not, I think probably Vile Silence would explain this. Yeah. And says, uh, "When you are weak, the sword will try to take over." Mm. It can Ooh. try. Well, the 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 less healthy or the closer you are to death, mm -hmm. the harder it's going to be for you to resist the sword's command. Mm -hmm. And as long as what you want to do and the, what the sword want to do are the same, mm -hmm. then you're going to be fine. Mm -hmm. But if there's a point where the sword wants to do something and you don't, but you only have four hit points, mm -hmm. you might end up doing what the sword wants. Mm -hmm. It might take over. Mm -hmm. So that's something you got to watch out for. I see. Uh, and it's going to have all sorts of other crazy abilities. I'm going to be relying on you for heals. <laughs> um, yes. <laughs> the true scope of this weapon... Will not be revealed to you for some time. Yeah. Um, feel it out. And what did you want, Matt? Uh, <laughs> Matt. <laughs> what were you, you, uh, you wanted a weapon? You wanted weapon? a sin metal weapon? Yes. What kind of weapons do Orlocks use? Uh, like, do you want a weapon like to use in battle, like to hit people with and stuff, or like to power up your shit? What rod? Rod. Do you want a packed rod? Maybe. A packed rod. Yeah, a packed yeah. rod. It, so okay, so I, I I may be I may be asking the wrong question. Like, uh, so warlocks. So okay, yeah. Like if Slim gets a plus one weapon, mm -hmm. that means every time he attacks with it, he gets to add one to his attack roll. And he gets to add one to his damage roll, mm -hmm. right? But if you had a plus one sword, what would you do with it? You don't use a sword, right? No. So your version of that is what's called a pact rod, like um, a rod of the pact keeper. And this might be some other name for it. Um, it's basically a magical focus. And it can be a plus one rod, in which case you are gonna when you use your Eldritch Blast, you add you add one to the attack roll, one to the damage roll, and stuff like that. Um, so that's that. That's, but you can it's sin metal. You can make it into all sorts of stuff. You can make it into weapons or armor. You can make it into a hat. Uh, oh, it's it's up to, to block out the sun. It's up to you. No, it's not. I it's up fields to you. and dragons. I'm more uh, opens fields and dragons. That's not what we play. Yeah. So what is it you're trying to get out of? What what is it you'd like? Uh, so I think originally the idea for the weapon was if it could. We talked about if a spell was cast on me. Do you remember? Yeah, if you and make us, like, if you make, so if you make spell. armor, I'd like there's lots of different sin metal recipes, and I don't know which one these folks are using. I'm gonna figure that out between now and the next time we play, because I didn't know this was gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> and uh, it, but if you if you make armor out of it, all armor. So there's lots of different armor recipes you can make out of sin metal. Lots of different weapon recipes you can use with sin metal. All armor, whatever else it does, it will protect you from uh, sunlight sensitivity. And weapons will store spells in them. That somebody cast a spell. If somebody casts a spell at you, at you, not yes. like not at the area. Right. If somebody casts a spell at you, uh, yeah. there's a chance that you could absorb it, and it'll store inside the inside your weapon. And for like the Dwagar, that's awesome because they use weapons, right? Uh, right. So, but for a spellcaster, uh, you don't that's use not, weapons. But then I don't. Mm -hmm. I can't then use that spell back. You could, yeah. Can but the you, rod you, store spells. Yeah, sure, absolutely, yeah. Oh, okay. So you could make a rapier out of it, uh, but you don't use a rapier. No. Then I'll go for the rod, I think. Oh, a rapier is what you have equipped. I do. Yeah, but, but how I often don't do you use it? Yeah, no, I never, once. never attacked. Yeah, never use it you just yeah. use your Eldritch Blast. Okay. Just, yeah. So yeah, they'll make a, they'll make a special a Sid Metal rod for you, and they uh, and I, I will figure out what it does. Okay. Because it'll do something apart from the basic. Okay. There's the base, and then there's different stuff on top of that. Cool. That's cool. Cool. All right, well, now we definitely have to go do this job, so well remembered, let's go. Sir. Deliver the buttons. Yeah. Well remembered, sir. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, these guys just did you a fucking solid, so. Oh, yeah, they did. I might give uh, the orc a little hug. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> don't hug me. Hug the centurion. Oh. He's well. the one that uh, he's the one that found out about you. Then I'll give him a little hug. All right. Oh, yeah, I'll put aside my saltiness from earlier, and I'll shake his hand. <laughs> He'll, he'll shake your hand. Uh, Thank you for this. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, the uh, yeah the orc is. I'm still kind of trying to figure out uh, what's going to happen here. <laughs> but yeah, the orc the orc just wants to remind you folks that like we've just invested a lot. Yeah. In this team, uh, you're our first team. You're the alpha team, and we hope that we don't have to find a beta team. I hope not either. We shall mm -hmm. succeed for you, sir. So. Uh, I think that our goals are in accord. Mm -hmm. And anyone who's an enemy of Ajax is an ally of ours. So, 
may you have the opportunity to fulfill your contract. Yeah. Good. Uh, Marcellus says, are we ready to go? Yep. He takes his ring off and, <laughs> and as it spins in the air, uh, it lands on the table in the dancing minstrel. And you guys are still sitting where you were before. Like, mm-hmm. like no time has passed from but with butts. Yeah. And he's gone. No, he's with you. Oh, he's with you. Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Well, let's go get back to right where Copper that, is standing. Yeah. Yeah. Exact alleyway. Yeah. So you guys have. Okay. So I think I, I hate to do this. I think we got to stop. Mm-hmm. Um, well, well, no, we can keep playing for a little bit. We can keep playing for a little bit because I now got like a lot of work to do. I got to go get a, I got to get a, <laughs> make a butts retainer. Uh, no, we have that. We have that. Do you? Yeah. Do, we have does car. it have? But is it unique to butts, or is it just? Yeah, it's unique to butts. Is no, it? Well, no. But it's, it's, it's a conjurer. I think it's enchanter. just. Yeah, I think oh. it's just a generic enchanter, and I think butts is special. Oh. Uh, so I want to make a. I want to make a special retainer card for. Yeah, we, we made these rules up. We can do stuff like make butts a special. For That's cool. That. Well, hey yeah. man, I made a fucking boots one, and we use that for a total of fifteen minutes. Yeah. So yeah. we used it. Oh, yeah, well, so it's cool. Though. Made a whole new move set. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's true. We had to make it. Yeah. Well, he was a bard. If you had just made it with the right class. And also, before I, we, we're yeah, gonna, before oh, yeah. we guys before you guys get into a fight, uh, which I th- think is going to happen relatively soon, uh, I need to know what your fucking weapons do. Uh, <clears throat> Bad point. So I apologize for that, but I wasn't 100. Uh, percent That's okay. I didn't know what was going to happen. That's cool. So, it just like I cool the sequence happen. of it getting yeah, it. That was so awesome. I went from 500 days to now. Yeah. Yes. Well, I mean, I didn't. I, we were talking. I think or we, did we talk about this live online, like during this session? Yeah, yeah. Just, we talked about if you guys went to the astral sea, you might be able to do something yeah. because time on the astral sea yeah. is different, but definitely uh, the moon, the t- in the tower of the moon, uh, that uh, moon elf can be like, yeah, like we we're the reason there are magic items. Um, so uh, yeah, I should have thought of that. I'm not smart. Uh, <laughs> so how are you guys going to find? Did. You did right now. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, I, I, I should have pre- prepped that. Oh, I should have yeah. prepped. Oh, they're definitely going to be like, hey, I mean, can you? Just can say you? You prepped it. Cut that. It worked out. We would not have known otherwise. Yeah, correct. Um, we record the story so out. how? So oh, the okay. city's ba- the it's it, you know it's been a day since the incident that happened here. Yeah. And by the way, this is not where you guys are. No, you I'm guys are in the rotated version because yes. you guys were the black dragon happened. Well, yeah. Mm-hmm. So the question that. is, well, Marcellus, by the way, wants to. He, he, once you guys are back in, he goes, I hugely stuck my neck out for you guys, by the way. Please don't let me down. We won't. We won't. We never do. Uh, are you going to be staying here at the Dancing Minstrel? Uh, no, we'll be back at the Pharaoh's Dream after we... I'll stay finish. here, just to liaise. Uh, this far away? Then I'll stay here. What, what, what's the purpose of staying at Pharaoh's Inn? Yeah, well, we're by Ringwell we're here. Going to yeah. Ringwell. It's also closer the to... Distance. We're going there right now, though. Yeah. Are you talking after we're done? Yeah, I'm talking about after. Oh, we're after done. we're done, probably. What do you mean after? after? When you say after you're done, what do you mean done? When we, we complete back. the job. Oh, we... well, okay. Well, I, he's not talking about like two years from now. He's talking about like <laughs> right. where are you going to be? Like, I'm talking about the job right now, Ringwell. You yeah. think that's going to take two years? One and a half. Like, well, yeah, Mar- Mar- yeah. Uh, Marcel's like, well, who knows? Yeah. Like, one year, who knows? <laughs> but yeah, like this is. Be sure, like, this is where we live. Where are you guys yeah. going to be? We'll be what? here or the Pharaoh's Dream. Yeah. Okay. Check with. Because if you're going to be here, I'll stay here. But if you're going to be at the Pharaoh's Dream, I I, I can't nah. commute. I, he can't commute. Right. This is such a crazy. <laughs> thing. This is such a crazy <laughs> thing. Yeah. But he is like his. He is a student at the War College. Like, we need to com- yeah. contact him. We'll yeah, we'll go to that one. Right? But if you're going to stay here, then that's we'll fine. Just, we'll we'll stay around. Stay I'm staying in. Okay, it's up to you guys. It's easier. Uh, We're not trying to take other jobs right now. We've got a big one ahead of us. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, he's going to stay at the uh, dancing minstrel. Mm-hmm. How are you guys going to find the entrance to Ringwell? I like, think we should go back to where the black dragon showed up. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, the exact uh, same spot. Use big cat, Copper. right? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Put, we'll start. It, put your nose to the ground and <clears throat> sniff around. Looking for Look displaced for areas or something like that. Yeah. We'll get a bunch of its blood. There's probably like a magic oh, detection yeah. thing, right? Like somebody's probably gonna, got some what? magic detection. Wipe it off his sword. It's all over a sword. Get his, get the smell of the blood, and then yeah. yeah, there's probably some residual sun elf blood. Sniff on it out like Slim's a... sword. Bloodhound. So yeah, so 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 big cat. Four of its legs, two of its legs are upright, and four of its legs are consumed. So it's and you put Slim's sword in front of it, and it does that thing where it goes, it goes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> and then pulls air over its Jacobson organ and sits there and goes. <laughs> <laughs> And you go, <laughs> and then it does it again and takes it, and then it starts sniffing around. And, and you see, while it's doing this, its tentacles do like, mm-hmm. like it's, it, 
<laughs> like it loses it, 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 it it's so big cat is so hyper focused she is so hyper focused on sniffing around and you see all these people in the town are trying to use this road like ah like when they come around and they see there's a giant displacer beast and they give it a wide berth or they turn around and go the other way mm -hmm. uh so you uh, it, pretty quickly you folks have the alleyway to yourselves and yeah big cat is sniffing around and and she after go ahead and make um a survival check okay yeah uh good. either you Default either yeah. either you or big cat whichever would be better because big survival? cat is big cat is your cat you are going to help it out it's uh i believe it's survival. yeah that'd be me then i'll just, i'll i'll have survival for that king prays to his higaran saint and gives um, 12. 12? Uh, so there are... Uh, the Big Cat goes up one part of the alley yeah. and goes up the other part of the alley. And, and Big Cat starts to kind of get confused. Mm -hmm. like, like the trail might be old. Hmm. Dr. Mine, I'm in a... Oh, oh, oh uh, well, hold up. I might have something. It may be a stretch, but let me explain it anyways. Um, uh, primal awareness or pre, pre yeah. Um, as an action, I can use a spell slot to focus my awareness for one minute. Uh, and what within one mile, I can sense certain types of creatures are present. Aberration, huh. Celestial, Dragon, Elemental, Fey, Fiend, Undead. I wonder what the Sun... Celestial... Hmm. That's cool. Celestial. Well, no, it's, no, it's not a Celestial. It the is sun, a Celestial. The sun. Yeah. So maybe I can... Within one mile, I can sense the creature's presence. It's not technically alive, but maybe... Well, I mean, it was, the, it was not that long ago. Yeah. Uh, I, I Mark off the spell. I think that's a pretty cool... Like, if this were a skill challenge, yeah. that would be a great use. Obviously, we're stretching the definition of it. Yeah. But that's kind of the fun of the game is coming up with crazy shit. Nice. Um, yeah. So, nice. so, you, so, Copper casts a spell, and you definitely get this very faint sense of some powerful and i guess the best way copper would perceive it is clean like <laughs> some really polished clean uh disinfected sense entity is down the alley and now it's big cat how's it going copper i'm okay i have a lot of i need i need a leech seat <laughs> sheet this is i have too many papers this is a leech sheet <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, it's all good. We're gonna start a new trend in character sheets. Here's the and news. Pretty soon, pretty soon it's gonna be like it's gonna be like real, like a uh, roughs it's in the, the late bad. 1600s where they just get super broad yeah. um, and people can have huge character sheets. This uh, is great. I yeah. can read it. I've, yeah. yeah, actually, well done. Uh, uh, a joke, but it was so. Good. Yeah. So you you watch uh, Big Cat kind of like, and then Copper is like, uh, Copper casts a spell, and then Copper starts walking off in one direction. Big Cat's like. And it pads <laughs> off after copper, wow. and the trail, the oh, sense right. of this, like I, again, I don't know how, I, I, how copper would perceive this, except mm -hmm. like something that was really well disinfected and clean, and it leads to an abandoned uh, shop. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Can you check? Oh, you go inside. Check for Is a cracks? sign that oh, that's obviously it says closed, mm -hmm. and then there are um, boards that have been nailed up over it, but it was a butcher shop. Okay. Sign still here. Hmm. Should we, um, yeah, check for like listen in or something? Check for magic, check for traps. Yeah, is there like a, just a window we can peek inside? Yeah, just mundane butcher shop looking stuff. Um, everything's old and dusty, okay. And there's not a lot, it's like, um, imagine a butcher shop if you took out everything that could be removed so there's like a big marble counter for uh cutting and dressing meat and there are hooks hanging on the inside but apart from that there's no it's been is there a way to get around the back or... no it's built into a larger okay so it's so... like a row house uh -huh. kind of a deal yeah. right and the door's just locked i assume uh well i mean let's try you can assume that if you want try to open the door uh, the, uh there's it's the 
it rattles. It does appear locked, and there are two large boards oh, okay. that have been nailed up into the into the into the door. I'll just pull those off. You want to check for <laughs> crabs? <laughs> <laughs> I'm decently strong. Um, I haven't done all those push-ups in the astral sea. I mean, that's happening. <laughs> We're going on a full fucking fitness training in the Astral Sea. Well, we don't have to make the weapons anymore, but I need to get swole, so we're going. We'll go on. Get, uh, yeah, you guys, get, get, get back you, guys, you guys can pull off the um, the boards. That's obviously no I have a 15 boards. strength. So. Yeah, that's more than strong enough to uh, put your mind to it. And rah, you see King. And people walking by are like, Keep moving. Yeah. <laughs> just bought this butcher him. shop. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Open it up. Come back in a, come back in a month. <laughs> Oh, wow. in the, in the King's Cross. Around. Somebody like somebody stops and goes, "Really? <laughs> yes." <laughs> uh, <laughs> what? You're gonna draw attention to this place? <laughs> Come on, uh, that's a up. that's a thirteen for persuasion. But you're wearing your fancy clothes. Did you did you add your oh, plus, plus two? two. Oh, well, the, I, I figure it was persuasion. No, no that's what your fancy two. clothes do. Your fancy oh. clothes give you plus, plus two, two to any kind of charisma. Dramatic. Yeah. Any kind of diplomatic interaction. Okay, so fifteen in that case. Uh, yeah, like this. The, 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 now there are townsfolk standing around, being like, "Oh, when, when did you say you opened?" Oh, God. Oh, and they're like, "There's a butcher's. Uh, you know, we, there hasn't been a place close to my house. Uh, you know, it, for the past couple of years. And I've got to go down this. I'm going to do my real. I've got to go down down the street, and it takes me. Why? My wife. And she yells, and she likes. So when? How? What? What kind of prices were you folks? In we're there? exploring the possibility of purchasing this <laughs> establishment. <laughs> Oh, we're I, not, said, we're not very good I thought your friend said that you were a butcher's company. That... He's oh, optimistic. So. Clear oh. off. Yeah. Oh. Well, when, when should we? When should I come back? Two months. Two Look months? for us in the broadsheet. We'll I thought you said one advertisement. I thought you said one month. Well, uh, you know, uh, uh, guilty as charged. <laughs> this I'm place is really missed. dirty. We got a lot of work to do. All right. The, the, It'll the, be in the broadsheets. When the when, when, the, when the when the tiefling in, in black armor and a demon sign sword says, "Move on." Oh, sorry. Sorry. Bunch of looky loops. I'll be back. <laughs> there are powerful vermin in this shop that we need the, the tiefling to right. take care of first. Yeah. So. <laughs> That's yeah. why I closed Bite in your the first off, place. Man. Uh, Giant rats. Mm-hmm. Huge. <laughs> the, uh, yeah, but the door is locked. Uh, I don't know. Can, can non rogues lockpick? I don't know. Do you know. need lockpicking tools to pick it's the lock? Sleight of hand? Yes. So what's your slide hand? Think, your yeah, I'm pretty sure. There, can I just, so like, the way, the way I just shatter my rapier into a lock? Is tools have the skill inside them? So there's no skill called pick locks or thievery or whatever it's called. But if you have a if you have a thieves if you have thieves tools, then you can do it. I think is how it works. What if I like used uh, the blade of my rapier to try and like oh, shim, I mean, you could force shim the, lock. the door? You could can force I, the lock. I can look in the window yeah. and see this place. I, I'll just misty step inside. Okay, you see, oh. <laughs> Slim is now inside. Nice. There's like a, a burst of uh, mist, you know, water vapor, and and Slim. <laughs> Rematerializes. <laughs> we're all trying to figure this out. And yeah, like so you see, <laughs> oh, you he's like, he's like, yeah. beer and he's like, hang on, welcome. Like, get this, and then the door opens. And like, oh. Can I help you? Can I help? <laughs> when you open, it's not for <laughs> sale. Yeah. It's not for sale. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, your own sausage uh, business, so you can do your own craft. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, we can lock it behind us. Flynn, yeah. make a perception check. Okay. Uh oh. Judge, how does your health side My work? Passive uh, perception is 15, by the way. I don't I... know if that matters, but. Get advantage on perception okay. checks to right. notice this guy's hidden or invisible creatures. 21. Uh, you hear, uh, so when you misty step in mm-hmm. and start walking around, mm-hmm. you hear this sound like somewhere else in the butcher shop. Mm hmm. Sound like something falling down? As you heard. Like a clattery. You're not sure. You're not sure. It's not a. Huh. And so, yeah, Slim opens the door. Someone knocks something over. Be careful. I heard something. Do I see anything? Where did the sound come from? Uh, uh, further into the shop. I'll point in the direction. So, where you are right now is basically like Can the. You detect the, the, um, the commercial side of it, not the mm-hmm. dressing meat part. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. how uh, long does that uh, that? And also, that? there's a there's a One there's minute. obviously you can tell from the outside there's an upstairs, which traditionally was where the butcher would have lived, probably the butcher and his family would have lived. Mm-hmm. Okay. Like, do you see any tracks, like recent tracks or anything? Oh, like can that? I look for tracks? Dust you may. In the floor. There's not. By the way, there's not really room in here for your cat. It's like your cat's as big as a horse, and this is a shop. Mm. It's a small shop. Is there like a spell to miniaturize? <laughs> Make a cute little little big cat. Little like big cat. One, give him goggles. Yeah, like, little big cat. Uh, yeah. 
Okay. Like you could you could you could oh. lead Big Cat through here. Yeah. And Big Cat could squeeze in. Uh -huh. But like there's not gonna be a lot of room for Big Cat to if he gets in a fight or anything yeah, yeah, like that. Yeah. He's Big not gonna be coming after them. Yeah, to move. figure out where well, we're going. I'll be right back. Just wait outside yeah. for a second. Guard, guard the door. Guard the yeah. Let me, let he me... curl you know, turns three times and curls up. It's bright sun outside, takes his giant uh Squid tentacle thing and puts it over his eyes. <laughs> Keep and, the sun out. And just sits on the stoop and starts. You guys all hear this kind of like. <laughs> <laughs> and then a, and a long pause now. It's not a very good. Which, as you know, is the is the sound of Big Cat sleeping. Yeah. Which, as uh, everybody knows, is the sound a displacer beast makes when it, when it snores. Uh, I'm just gonna look to see if I see any uh, like recent tracks or any maybe disturbances in the in the floor that might have. Yeah, you see these uh, these tracks that lead around. Sorry. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I follow back to the right. Go to sleep. Uh, <laughs> There's another displacer beast yeah. in here. Go ahead, and make, a, go ahead and make a go ahead and make a uh, check. Where where uh, I guess I yeah I don't have a map of this place. Um, I mean I do have a map of it, but I don't have it. I'm not, right I'm not gonna. Draw yeah, it. we're like I'm not gonna draw it. Um, we're right inside the door, I assume. Yeah. So go ahead and make a. Make a survival. survival check. I think is what search is what. No, is it? Survival? That's what we're tracking. For yeah, tracking. tracking for tracking. Yeah, sure. Let's see if I can see anything. Eighteen. Uh, so there's a door that uh, there's a door and there are tracks. That you're in the store. The the door out is behind you. Mm -hmm. Looking into the store. There's a door over here on the right, and there's a corridor that goes off into another part uh, that you can't see, which has lots of different rooms behind mm -hmm. it. So Copper's gonna have to do a little bit of exploring. Mm -hmm. But that door, there are tracks that lead right up to it. Okay. And they are fresh. You're sneaky, right? Yeah. Well, we can get a stealth. tracks, are they? Oh yeah, we can also use yourself. They're humanoid. Yeah. Let's all. They're humanoid, like humanoid. a person, like a, like the you know. A... You all want to stealth in there? Capture in question. Yeah. Uh. D four. Okay. So what are you stealth. trying to do right now? I'm going to stealth. Okay. We're going to stealth into that room. Okay. The corridor. What the, what the tracks led to. Yeah. Who's we? All of us. Okay. If they're all around me, they all get my stealth bonus. Oh, that's nice. Mm -hmm. How how close do you have to be? Copper. I mean, we're Scooby-Doo mode right 15, now. Yeah. Like 15 feet around me. 15 feet all around you. <laughs> <laughs> So are we all rolling then? Yeah. No, no, no. You, it's just, we all take what? his. Yeah. He's yeah. rolling for all of us. Uh, yeah, a lot of you guys don't want to roll because you're gonna, <laughs> like you're in armor and stuff like that. But if you follow Copper and do what Copper says, you can yeah. move quietly. Like me. Yeah, basically, it's it's him literally literally leading you. Like twenty-four. Twenty-four. Yeah. Yeah. No, they can't. Nobody can hear you. Um, get this guy. Follow me like this. <laughs> I'm holding Od's mouth shut just mm. in case. <laughs> <laughs> There are leapers. <laughs> <laughs> so in in the back, there are uh, various rooms used to back. store and uh, treat and dress meat and make stuff like sausage and stuff mm -hmm. like that. And there are like spice where, where there were spices. There are spice racks. They're empty. And there is a uh, uh, there's like a, a mess hall. For the people that worked here, mm -hmm. and there's a table, and there's a plate, oh. and there's uh, food on oh. the plate, and there's a knife and a fork just sitting there on the table. Huh. Uh, and I need uh, judge to make a perception check with advantage. Thirteen. Thirteen. Perception rate. Thirteen. Awesome. You don't notice anything. Oh jeez! <laughs> is 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 there some? Um, why why does only judge make this roll? Only judge has hellsight. Hellsight, I see. Okay, because it's dark. Or because um, okay. you can see shit that other people can't. Judge has a supernatural uh, supernatural hell vision. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Anybody being tricksy, sometimes I can see them a little better. Not right now, though. Right now, everything's fine. Yeah, everything's fine. We're all fine. Right. We're all fine here, right? There's yeah. no one in here except us. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right now. And so that's what you see. But okay. you definitely see tracks that lead into this room and lead to the doorway. I mean, but now there's. But we can make the conclusion that someone's here because there's. Yes. There's the clay clay wear, yeah. silverware or something yeah. like that's probably what was heard. Food. Yeah. food on the table. And there are no tracks leaving the room. 
Let's go stick our fingers in the food and see if it's no. warm. It sound like it went in. Good idea. Hmm? I like that idea. Stick your finger into what? The food. In the food to see if it's warm. Warm. It is. Mm. Okay. It's, <laughs> uh, it's, mm. uh, it looks <laughs> like uh, yeah. meat, but it's not. It's kind of like tofu. Actually, uh, leech recognizes it. No. Well, it's it drow food. It's oh. fungal. It's like fungal patty. And it's a mushroom good. patty? Yeah. Basically. It's, it's, it's like... It's, <laughs> yeah. So I made it a bit. It's, it's good. Yeah. Delicious. Either someone's living here because it's abandoned, they found a house, or it's like they're like protecting the entrance to the. Uh, Sorry. Hey, sir. Leech. Yes. Sir. How uh, how big is your fairy fire radius? Oh, oh yeah. <gasps> oh, yeah. Sick on my. <laughs> Where is it? I can't find it. <laughs> it spells, so it's Maybe probably on the back. It's on the taped bit. Oh. What's the ceiling look like? Sixty feet. Sixty feet. Is it low? Uh, oh, and it's in a uh, twenty it's foot cube. Yeah, it's it's yeah. for you. Mm -hmm. Your head's right. Oh, okay. Yeah. So why don't you put it on OD and this is like fly a, around? The human human shot. See if anything gets outlined, because that's how it works, right? Uh, yeah, it would. It would uh, creatures cannot benefit from invisibility. Yeah, let's do yeah. it. Good idea, sir. Uh, I chain I, sign that. Mm. <laughs> right, because we're all being quiet. Yeah, we're all chain signing. Do the old fairy fire. All right, I'm gonna do. Cast. What are you doing? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, you don't know chain sign. Oh, oh yeah, you must know right. some. You know. You picked up some. You know. You know. Be quiet. Be quiet. You know, yeah. Yeah, I mean, this means, means what that no, mean? no, 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 it means right? don't. It means, anyway. <laughs> yeah, Slim doesn't speak your crazy sign language. Uh, <laughs> what are you doing? What, what, what are you actually doing? Uh, I'm going to cast uh, Fairy Fire on. Um, well, how big is this room? Uh, it's This room is like um, 10 feet wide and about 20 feet long. Oh, perfect. perfect. So it's a long, it's a long, it might cast be 30 in the feet room. Long. It's a long, narrow room. Yeah. It's a long, narrow room. Okay, we're just gonna cast it in the room. And see, okay. Um, if anything, we can't. What is, what, so, what does the spell do? I'm sorry, read it to me. Uh, well, the main thing is what uh, attacks against affected creatures have advantage, and affected creatures cannot benefit from invisibility. In uh, and so how does somebody be? Deter how do you determine a whether a creature is affected or not? It's a it's a deck save in a twenty foot cube. Well, if there, I mean, a deck save that I mean assumes there's somebody in here to save. So yes, the, it does. What's Assuming. the what's the DC? Uh, What's your spell save DC? Where, Probably like 13 or 14. Where's it on here now? 15? Maybe on the back. <laughs> yeah, it's on top of your spell casting thing. Oh, well, if you put it all in one page, then. <laughs> uh, DC 14. Uh, 15 if his new item gives him a bonus. <laughs> <laughs> oh, does it give advantage on a plus one no, spell? No, no, well, that's what he's asking for for the weapon. Well, yeah, if it's a rod of the pack keeper, whatever yeah. bonus. But I mean, if this is a drow, uh, I guess that's meta. Yeah. Uh, so when I mean, uh, drow might be just like under underdog stuff, right? Because like that, mm -hmm. like Dwargar lived down with drow, don't they? No, they don't, I don't. I think they're enemies. They're in the underdark. So. Oh, uh, when we go do our physical training in the astral sea, we'll all teach chain sign. We'll switch off classes. You do physical training, and then okay. yeah, so, uh, that's that's the plan. <laughs> Some dragon ball. That's what that's what we're doing in our mm -hmm. downtime. We're going to the hyperbolic <laughs> training time. Yeah. <laughs> You can walk out and you'll say, I know, ah, ah. I know Kung Fu. Look at that little guy. Oh, hello. Wow. He's small. Leech, you finish casting your spell, and outlined in the fairy fire is a, a drow assassin <laughs> uh, hiding in the corner of the room. And I'll see you folks next week. We're not going to kill this guy. We're going to capture him. Yeah. Yeah. Him. Yep. Okay. Because. Again, I don't know if he's home, if he's just hanging out here because it's abandoned, or if he's protecting. Well, him. is that the sun? Or right? he's an assassin? He's, yeah. Oh, maybe. I, I don't know. Really he's an assassin. Just because he's all right. Oh, guys, almost none of which we black iron pack. Uh, has it ever says to enunciate, please? Just, I mean, I thought you guys were going to talk to Duke Verona. Oh. Oh, right. I don't know why I thought that. Uh, we want to. I'm not being facetious when I say that. Yeah, that was a dumb thing for me to think. I was like, oh, they might go talk to Duke Verona. We wanted to, but you you made it seem like it was very urgent that we did this immediately. Well, I didn't know you guys were going to spend the night in the district. I thought you guys were going to. This is inside baseball shit. I thought you guys were literally just going to be like, okay, well, I'm sure nothing else is going to happen to us. Why would we need to rest? Let's go talk to Duke Verona, and then who knows what crazy shit would have happened in that branch of the adventure. But I'm like, shit. I think if they stay in the city, I think that the Knights of the Golden Cross, if they stay in this district, I think the Knights of the Golden Cross are going to come get them huh. and say, we need we need you guys. Uh, yeah. So that was still going to happen. No, hurt. That was still going to happen. It was just going to not right. be yeah, necessarily. Yeah, we didn't know something crazy was going to happen with Duke Verona, so it's right. like, we're going to show up fully like, fucked up or Correct. whatever. Yeah. Yeah. So I, like, I like how we, we fought an adult black dragon and a fucking celestial, and then like 
were like, oh my God, we're so wrecked. We need to rest. And then the next morning they're like, you guys fought an adult black dragon. And such. we're like, oh yeah, no problem. Yeah. Happens all the time. <laughs> yeah. 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 We handled it. Handled yeah. it. Yeah. 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 You gotta, you gotta play up your legend, man. Yeah. 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 I dig it. Uh, so yeah, I, the name of tonight's episode was A Sapphire Sky. Oh, uh, Because cool. I thought that was probably, probably going to be the last thing that happened was mm. uh, when that dude said, uh, welcome to the resistance, the war against Ajax begins here. I did feel like a I thought that was going to be the end of the... Uh-huh. Yeah, uh-huh. I was wrong. Uh, but but I had a good Stupid time. Stupid players. I, I, uh, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah, so we'll see. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, starting next week, um, I don't know how interesting this is going to be to watch. We'll find out. But I think it's going to be fun to play. Is there's some like legit dungeon crawling that's going to happen? Nice. Yeah. But, uh, I, I, uh, th- uh, folks who watch the campaign diary were like a lot of comments in the YouTube channel about, um, uh, is it just going to be them grinding room through room through room for mm-hmm. you know twenty levels or whatever? But I've all, all the mega dungeons I've ever run all have lots of politics and factions and the fact that the fact that Ringwell is in capital suddenly now like. Everyone you guys have met so far, mm. like all the factions you've met so far, are all going to be super interested in what is that? What can we get out of it? How can we use that? So it's not like you guys are going to be just going <gasps> and submerging into into, yeah. into combat for the gone. next right. ten levels. It's going to be this crazy. I've I've run this dungeon before. It's going to be a. It's there's going to be a lot of crazy shit that goes on. Interesting. Well, we found our fucking base. Oh, good luck. Ringwell? Oh, yeah, oh, no, yeah. no, the butcher sure. shop. The butcher shop. Yeah, yeah, yeah butcher shop. The door to ring. Yeah, it's, it's, I mean, yeah, the entryway yeah. right to ring. Why don't we just open up a shop? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're in a butcher shop. Yeah. Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah. yeah. strongholds. We'll, we'll, we'll strongholds we'll strongholds we'll and followers version two, the butcher Dude, shop. Well, and we've already got so much like hype around the chain links, right? Yeah. Right. We'll sell chain links Dude, and magic done. items. Oh, well, like, we're going to be your, that should incrementing the treasury die. We got to go get the chain links guy and he'll be our cook. Yeah. Perfect. It's like the establishment where you use like all the. This will be open in a month, man. I see. You guys should just let me stick with my original estimate. I don't know why you let him. Yeah. Just a front. (laughs) (laughs) Just out of the. Anyway, thanks for watching, (laughs) everybody. Uh, I look forward to this campaign diary, and I remind you what I said earlier about how at some point I'm going to want to take a break. Uh, I'm just, I'm just not used. I'm just not used to doing the thing. I just run every week for the rest of my life. I'm used to taking breaks (laughs) and playing every once in a while. That would be nice. Uh, no better way to recharge your batteries than to play. Uh, so, but I'm pretty sure we'll play next week. We'll see what happens. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Take it easy. Toodle pip. Bye. Be seeing you. Bye.